They said this is 90s night. So they brought out a 2000 artist. <laughs> That's not funny. But my album came out in 99, funny. so I guess on? that counts. Sanchez, we ready? Yeah. It's fucked up. Are we ready? <laughs> <laughs> That's cold. I guess not. <laughs> but no, we are ready. Oh, we stay ready. Definitely. Welcome to Slide Through Podcast, everybody. Yo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, so Ja Rule should never do no performance ever in his life again. Ja Rule hard, though. Ja Rule go hard as fuck. But bruh, that's not that, that was, wasn't real. It was yeah. You hate it. It was fake. <laughs> bruh, the players were even fucking practicing like just like nothing. They were not like, You put the video out. You was hating. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, work, I'm working for fifty, bro. I'm working for fifty. I'm with Mickey, bro. <laughs> we both part of you, nigga. <laughs> Yeah, but Mickey did question it earlier though. He's like, nah, that shit was real. <laughs> that shit real, huh, Mickey? Because we we did that shit. No, I, I want to start off with the song though, just to liven up the tension. Yeah, you know, for sure. get the mood, get the mood on, get the mood on. What tension, nigga? Take him back to the essence. Sons and my daughter, two L's, you know my aura. My collection is flawless, shit, my storage got a storage. I'm a Ralph Lauren hoarder, I know that I got a problem. My old lady be There we go, there we go, there we yes. go. Slide yes. through, proper introduction, you feel me? That beat is crazy. That shit yeah, hard. Crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That beat is crazy. Smoke Didn't Dizza. he just come out with something, with something new? Uh, that beat fuck. is crazy. I mean... I, I, mean, I, I think I seen something new on, on Spotify on him. I haven't Maybe. I haven't listened to anything. I think Ronnie, I don't know if he's been up, up a date with him. I haven't. Nah. Well, before yeah, we get started, let's introduce so our guests. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we got. Welcome back, Mr. Active and Attractive. What's the deal? What's the deal? What's the deal? What's yeah. the deal? Yada da da. 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 Yada da is this the man behind the lens? That's, that's, <laughs> me. that's me, that's me. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Magic man, magic man. Oh, okay, magic okay. Man. Let's not get too into it. Making yeah. it happen, yeah. making it happen. Should we start again with the Ja Rule or are we done with that? No, we don't. Yeah. 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 Keep Let's pushing. Introduce yourself. Off the show. Well, I'm the host with the least. Miggy. <laughs> uh, yeah. You got to raise your hand, man. Yeah. Miggy right here. <laughs> <Come on speaking>. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Ricky. <laughs> Say something by yourself. It's the icebreaker. Man, you already know the Terry fucking this bitch. Yeah. First know? day of class, man. Yeah, <laughs> DJ Definitely Eating. You know, follow me at DJ Definitely Eating. I uh, got these new lighters already out. You know, every purchase comes with a, a pen and a sticker. So uh, DM yeah, yeah. me and I'll, I'll get you yours. And I mail too. So there you go. And a lighter. Yeah, didn't you send, send something to England or something? Oh yeah, yeah! Shout to uh, my New England folk, man. He he tapped in with me, wanted a little fight pack, so yes, that's what's up. Sent yes, him a little nice, nice yes, little sir. fight piece. Hell yeah! Yes, nice, nice. Overseas was good. Just on safari. I see. No IGs, no nothing. Keep it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. It's June, you know, bringing hope to the hopeless. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. How long did you think Voice. about that one? <laughs> I've, been holding, I've been holding that back for a while, man. Yeah, All week. Man, All week. Voice for the voiceless. Slogan. What's up with everybody, man? How are everybody doing, bro? Amazing. Chilling, chilling. Down on the it's good. Man. It's good, man. Yeah, Episode 27, yeah. man. I believe 27? This is, yeah, 26. I forgot. 26. I lost count. I think it's 26. I lost count, to be honest. No, no, no. 27. 27, 27 I believe. Uh, That's how you know y'all doing y'all thing. Yeah. 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 I don't want to lose count, man. I think, I think the last episode of February, so we begin to March. Oh, yeah. yeah that's right. That's right. Yeah. Next week will be March. I see you up this Damn. Friday. Congratulations. There you go. Yeah, man. Shout out to Steve for coming back, man. You oh, was one of, of the first uh, hey, hey, first guests we had through over here. So, hey, you know. bro. hey, I had a pleasant time. Yeah. Pleasant hey, time. you, you putting in work. I see you putting in work, man. Trying to, trying to. Trying to. Trying to get up out of here. Trying to get up out Trying to leave up. Trying to put the city on. Trying to put the city on. That's right. Hell yeah. So tell us more about the projects you got going on. 
Um, <clears throat> see the next project. I'm trying to work on some new shit. I just put out an EP called Twenty One. Go get that. I'm yeah. putting it on my yeah, birthday. That shit hard. January twenty. Yeah. Appreciate, appreciate it. All platforms. All platforms. Just put it all platform. All platform. Mm -hmm. uh, just put out a video on Thizzler today. Okay. Yeah. 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 Called Yada Da. Mm -hmm. Go check that mm -hmm. out. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm trying to throw. A, uh, I'm trying to throw a couple parties. You know, trying to get some performances and stuff out here. Trying to get some shows going. Trying to get some. You know, I think uh, the last few parties were fucking lit. There you go. Oh, yeah. You know, so I think they were fucking lit. lit. But yeah, now yeah. I want to... I've seen the videos you know, and so shit, I'm, yo. I'm trying to kind of include a lot more people on that. I okay. Get, get tapped in with Enrique, tapped in with y'all, you know, try to put everybody on. Hell for yeah. Sure, for for sure. Sure. Yeah, Same I seen that video on this earlier. It was like three hours that you had dropped it and you already had like 600 views or some shit. I was like, okay. That's good. That's good. I was drawing it, man. I was drawing it right now, bro. Did you put it straight on Thizzler or did you release it first and then you put it on Thizzler? No, I just put it straight on Thizzler. It was supposed to drop on Thursday, ended up dropping today. I didn't even mm, know. I woke up this morning. They texted me. They was like, a uh, slot open for you. you don't, we going to drop it today. I said, all right, Ooh, fuck no, it. Bro. I ain't even yeah. posted or nothing. Nobody even knows what's out. But, <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Fuck it. Yeah. That's some thing on after they hear this. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, yeah. sir. Yes, sir. Unless they tapped in on Thizzle like that. Oh, yeah, there's definitely those people that are always on Thizzle yeah. like, constantly. Yeah. So, yeah. so that's crazy. good. That's, crazy. A good crazy. that's a good channel right there. Crazy, crazy, crazy. That's good. So let's talk about the cameraman. Hey, the camera oh, guy. Guy. How does so, it How y'all tap in? How, 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 y'all yeah, meet at school? Uh, <laughs> oh, man, for Yada Da, like, um, what's crazy is I heard that song, we listened to it, and I was like, you know, we need to do something bigger for this. So mm. I hit him, I was like, yo, what if we go down to Santa Barbara and shoot something crazy? Like, mm. <laughs> SD, body mm. right. so, uh, right. Bust it out the fish out. <laughs> 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 Uh, yeah, we just went down, met up with Monarchs. They're a car crew down in LA. They came up to Santa Barbara. So if you see them in the video, definitely shout them out. Yes. There's all them sick Mustangs yeah. on there. Yeah. 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 Came through for show. But yeah, man, I just came up with that idea, threw it out, ran it by him. He's like, oh, let's put this here. And like, uh, if you watch that, that bike scene, man, that bike scene was just random. He's crazy. like, bike scene's crazy, mm, crazy man. Crazy. They just pulled up, ran on some random shit. He was probably just fucking around. He's like, let yeah. me record you real quick. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. No, someone yeah. saw, we found that random bike. Like one of our friends was like, oh, I got a bike. And I was like, all right, perfect. Like, let's yeah, get it. We just went in the middle of the street. I got up on that thing. <laughs> just that's got up on that start sliding. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah that's the dope part about music videos. Like you experience it throughout the way. And then next thing you know, you just get a bunch of ideas coming Facts. at you. Exactly. Like things Facts. are happening. Like Facts. it's meant to be there. You know what I mean? So Facts. that's 100%. Dope. Yeah. Facts. Yeah. So, so you've been uh, making all his music videos, or yeah, dude. Since we started, what August? Mm -hmm. August is when we put out, put out our first music video with uh, not July, was it? Yeah, August yeah, is no when we understand. dropped. No one understands. That was our R first music video. RPA Russ. RPA Russ, man. RPA Russ. Some peace. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But yeah, since August, we've just been grinding every day, like every month. In and out the studio, mm -hmm. shooting videos, pictures, everything, man. Shit, everything. keeps really trying to get, really put the city on, you know? Keep, keep been that making up, videos for a long up. time or something you just yeah, got? this is my fifth year shooting, man. So oh, shit. I've been out oh, so. it for a cool minute, but yeah. it's starting to pay off now, so. Yeah. Plug in your IG so people know who you are. I, at Howard 627 Hello. On all platforms, you know, follow me. Hello. Give me a shout out, you know. Any sure. video work y'all yeah. need done. Yeah. 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 Tap in, tap in. I got you. Yeah, you might have to come here as fucking record a podcast with it. and yeah, I'm with it. Oh, yeah, yeah, I got you. Hey, yeah. I got you. We're going right. to be looking crystal, crystal, uh, yeah, crystal yeah. clear. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the HD. <laughs> 1080. Yes, sir. But uh, is it harder uh, for, for like a camera guy? Because mostly you got the people coming up to you, you know, for the work, right? Or do you kind of reach out and like, yo, let me shoot something for you? Or or how was it first, you know? I mean, honestly, all right, the way it worked with T was like, man, I was so pissed. He dropped his video. <laughs> <laughs> I, go, I go on Instagram. I'm on a shoot. I'm on a shoot. I'm shooting the house, right? And I go on Instagram because I had a little break. I go on Instagram. This man drops a new music video, lay low. <laughs> Shot in our backyard because we grew up on the same street. I was pissed. I was like, yo, this song's hard. Like, there's no way he put this out. <laughs> and from that point in, I was like, I hit him up. I was like, yo, I'm shooting all your shit now. Like, from <laughs> now on, like, Here that's how it's Here we are now. Just. <laughs> Grinding, yeah. Oh, so y'all been knowing each other for a minute then, right? Cool minute, yeah. yeah. Okay. yeah. Up, Went to high school together. Everything, man. Yeah. Grow up yeah. together, grind together, man. Exactly. Shout yeah. out Monterey High. <laughs> yeah, gang. Yeah, All that, yeah, that, that, was that video? Yes, the, in the basketball court? Yeah, like Mike. Yeah, we yeah. shot that in yeah. Randall Gym, baby. <laughs> That's nice. Well, so, well yes, congrats sir. to both of you guys on oh, your yeah, success. Man. Appreciate y'all. Keep, keep, keep that up. Keep that up. Keep that up. Thank you. Thank you all for having us. Yeah, I appreciate oh, yeah, it, man. Always. Appreciate it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So that video you dropped, it was off the 21 EP? Yeah, yes. it was off the 21 EP. Shit. I recorded that EP in. Yo, two four hours, hours bro. Four like, hours. Yeah, like yeah, four, four hours. hours. Yeah, yeah. He was just in the studio. Yeah, Got in there, got it out, got that shit done. 
Mm. 20, uh, like grinding. So grinding. what's the reason for 21? I think I just wanted to put out like a celebration type of EP. You know, my first album, I kind of want to do actual songs. And with this one, I was just like, man, fuck it. I just give the people what they want. Have a little bit of fun with this one. It's a little celebration. You know, mm-hmm. I, I just planned it to try and drop it on my birthday. And then it kind of just came about like that. Mm-hmm. Are you 21st? Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. Oh, yes, sir. Man. And how was that? Tennessee. Tennessee. <laughs> Tennessee. No sponsor. No sponsor. <laughs> yeah. So how, how was your 21st? No, it was pretty lit, man. I got, I got drunk. Yeah, it was your yeah, first time though, huh? It was, but I'm a lightweight though. Actually, I'm a lightweight though. It don't take a lot to get me drunk. I need a couple shots. This man was on in Santa Barbara. Yes. On in Santa Barbara. <laughs> Saucy. Yeah. Saucy. Yeah. We're gonna get those scenes or what? I definitely got some clips in the vault for that. <laughs> For sure, for sure. Should we get into the topics or yeah, let's, do let's, do let's do it? Let's do it. Let's do it. All right, man. Some nasty shit going down. But hey, man, what can you do when you're in your 70s or 80s, man? Patriots is that are... nasty? <laughs> is that nasty? I mean, he's a rich man. A lot of rich men pay for yeah, pussy. That's what they got to do. Yeah. I know niggas that's young that pay for pussy. Exactly. Yeah, they, they better cut it up. Pay for pussy has been around for, for I mean, decades, man. Yeah, yeah, for decades. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah.
use him as an example, basically. Big name, big guy, yeah, billionaire. Like, it, it doesn't matter who you are. You will yeah. get for this. If it was just a regular smuggler <laughs> dude, they wouldn't. He do you, would, they would be a regular shit. Do you think they put like a hit out on him? Like he was a target? They could have been followed or following him, but who knows? Maybe or there's yeah, a whole like, bunch yeah. of people there that are probably well known as well. But he's a Patriots owner, so it'd be a bigger story. So I they just that. point him out. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe yeah, because he was hanging out with McMill. Yeah, could <laughs> be like, you know, like come on. you never know, yeah, man. Yeah, how, you just saw him throwing bands, and he's like, I didn't know you could do this. Yeah. <laughs> well, because this is the way. Championship. Well, you know, you, he's also trying to do all this work for the prison reform shit. So I'm pretty sure, you know, they kind of colluded against him, just like, all right, well, you trying to. Fuck put a bad system. light on yes. us, you know yeah. what I mean? So let me fuck you over. So they say he might do a year in jail or a, or a hundred hours community service. There's no way he's gonna do a year in jail. And he's I don't know. He got too much money. Is out. he getting suspended too from the NFL? Or, or I, no? I, no, I doubt it. I don't think he I can. He's the owner. Is, What's he yeah, gonna yeah. do? Sell his team? If that's the case, a lot of niggas need to go to jail. Yeah, real yeah, yeah, damn. Yeah. For sure. It's crazy how you know someone gets kicked out for taking a knee, but you take someone's uh someone's you know. Sex against her will. <laughs> no, <Nah>. slap <laughs> on the rim. Slap wrist. Yeah. Slap yeah. You good? You good? That's <laughs> Pat yourself on the back. She's, She's crazy. crazy. She's crazy. It's a good shit. That's wild. <laughs> She's crazy. <laughs> but yeah, shit, well. It's wrong. They're trying to use him though, like that. This is just leave him alone. <laughs> Old man trying to get some pussy. They, no, they saw him with me. Fucked it, it up. Yeah. Maybe they just mad that they can't do it. You feel me? I mean, anybody. I mean, I think they could do it, but obviously it's illegal. Then, I mean, some people, I mean, live by code. There's some legit some escort dog. businesses that. I thought, yeah, I'm pretty sure like, there's some that's like for home. NFL. <laughs> I'm sure there's some hired by the NFL. Yeah, but, yeah. I'm pretty sure. And, and, and all it's whole going, like yeah. paperwork, legit, everything legit, girls probably, legit, yeah. and all that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's probably like that theory so, that the White House has his own like holes and shit. For the I bet huh in the limousines. Yeah, he should have he should have thought better and gone, you know, gone escort instead of going to that isn't yeah. a place. Nah, but going there is different because no. you're you're, you're, you're risking being it, seen, yeah. especially for a big big known billionaire like that. But, but, but what yeah. about these massage the, parlors with the happy ending spots, bro? Like I just assume like all right, they they offering it up. So, <laughs> I mean, but, they're, but then yeah, again, now they're not offering it up. Uh, so I'm asking for a friend. How would that work? How do you? Ask <laughs> <laughs> like, how do you go about? How like, do you go asking? about asking for it? He'd be like, "Are you happy today? Because I'm feeling a little gloomy." So you just, uh, you just wait till you just wait, bro. I guess you just wait. Yeah. It just happens. Yeah. Be like, I feel you a lot of soreness. You know, a lot of tenderness. <laughs> you know, yeah. <laughs> but but there was some. Um, uh, there were some uh, around here locally, right? Some massage parlors in Monterey. I think there was like three of them that got busted. Yeah, yeah, yeah did it, um, Three of them got and busted. And one got busted yeah. in Marina, right? One Marina, I think two in Seaside. Yeah. Two in Seaside, yeah. yeah. Some undercovers went, you know, they got their happy ending Monterey, of life. Right? <laughs> that one by Jiffy Lube? Yeah, yeah. yeah that so one's still standing, huh? How does that work? Like, do they have to get the happy ending? <laughs> and then they charge hey, the you people? you know they got theirs before you they turn them in. That's you know? what I'm saying. They <laughs> got the <laughs> evidence unless they get it done, right? As yeah. soon as they got that towel, they're like, all right. <laughs> Listen, fam. <laughs> Put your hands behind your bed. <laughs> no, nah, we, wow. we need more work. We need more evidence. I got to go back. I got to make sure she's fully with it. Hold up. That's crazy. So I always ask for consent. I mean, yeah, consent. there's been conversations about prostitution, about like, there's some places, you know, outside the country where it, it's completely legal because it's, yeah. it's, it's all legal consent in, in, in Vegas. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's true. legal in certain yeah. spots in Vegas. Yeah. yeah. I guess it's, it's just uh, uh, holding the the women, uh, you know, like hostages or like prisoners, you know, like not that's a different story. Them, no, but yeah, are they taking the money? Story. You know? Yeah, well, it's yeah. called, it's uh, called yeah, donations. Like, yeah, yeah, but that's the thing though. Like, are they getting that money? Are yeah. they getting the percentage? Or are they exactly. just like being held like in inside a kettle like a dog? You know what I mean? Mm. That's, that's the so, shit crazy. That's it. Shit is crazy. Yeah, I guess that's what they're trying to mostly stop is you know that that type of lifestyle. Pussy run the world. Yeah. yeah. That's a damn shit. So more of the story, mm -hmm. if you can't get no pussy, might as well just whack it off, bro, and you're good. You know? yeah, I'm telling you. Cool. They do or have those, just call those dolls escort. now. That's those realistic dolls. Who bro, oh, yeah. Those robots coming yeah, out, man. man. That they can easily nuts. afford like fucking five of them. Than that fucking dog. Bitches in trouble. Bro. 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 That he should he should have just done that. Yeah, man. Get a fucking sex doll. Fucking one of each race. Fuck it. He got enough money to buy them all. Or they're gonna have some like in the suitcase, you know? No, what I mean? It's like portable. In the <laughs> I'm, I'm taking you today. You put some money in plates. <laughs> <laughs> it's cool, huh? Like he could buy like some like Patriots uh, lingerie <laughs> for, for his robot. Like, yeah, what do you think about those? Put chitters? it on. Yeah, what you think? <laughs> put the little uh, football like uh, black marks on it. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> was that movie? Uh, what was that movie? Where, like, I got a replica coming on the way. What you mean, bro? And what was that movie where like she's trying to like seduce her man? He's a football player, so like she wears her, like like his jersey, and then she isn't a scary movie. I think so. I mean, yeah. And then he's like, he wait, said, put, put it on. on. Yeah. <laughs> this nigga starts calling him, calling her as a guy name or something. Yeah. Some other nigga's name. Yeah. Suspect. <laughs> Crazy. Oh fuck. But more. More bad behavior going on. Uh, Tristan Thompson caught cheating on Chloe. Man, he just he always wants to get caught. <laughs> he always he wants to get caught. He, I mean, come Wait, on. So this isn't the first time. No, this is like the <laughs> eighth I, time. Yeah, bro. Exactly. I don't watch fucking reality I know. TV. For shit, Are they so doing I it for the views you. on the show though? That's I what I'm so saying. Exactly. I don't trust anything with the Kardashians in it, man. I think oh, it's just all man. And I was supposed to that was her. What's that one bitch's name? Jordan. Jordan, yeah. Jordan yeah. Thompson. Yeah, yeah, some she is. But now she's right here on a what is it? Red, Red table. table, Red Table was that? That's so, Jada Smith's dog uh, <laughs> show. Show? Oh, yeah. Jada so let's just talk about it. So sh- let's see what. Oh, oh like she's she about to come out with deeds, huh? Yeah. Like, well, she's saying she's, that they came out with details saying, uh, "Oh, I was blacked out and I didn't know how I ended up there and I don't remember anything about the fucking night." A regular oh, bitch's excuse. Yeah, yeah <laughs> definitely. Damn. If she's claims that though, is he gonna get in trouble? Probably. That's why that's crazy. Yeah, right, right? like sounds about. Hmm. Right. Like yeah, I said, he wants to get caught. He don't give a fuck. Yeah, he don't give a fuck. Yeah, he, yeah, he don't want to be with that bitch. Nah, you you <laughs> cannot you cannot <laughs> reject Jordan Woods. He's dumb. Woods, he don't want to be with that bitch. You cannot reject Jordan Woods. But, but is he yeah. is he married to Chloe? <laughs> no, nah, nah, nah. nah. So there was but no, still, like, no his baby mama. Oh, yeah, I mean that, that's what the people problem was. Is like, dude, like you're a father. Like, how are you gonna? You know, of, there's a lot of dudes that do that. Like, yeah, but if you're married to a hoe and a family's full of hoes, <laughs> yeah. why not take the chance with Jordan Woods? Sure. Yeah, not make a hoe. <laughs> and then they got a friend that's a hoe. So yeah. trying to play know. devil's advocate. Yeah. Like, I mean, nah, Kim, man, she a hoe. Kim been a good no housewife, hoes, I guess. Man. The mom's a hoe. <laughs> and and for the yeah. meantime, I mean, <laughs> up until some shit comes out. <laughs> but I don't know. Like, I mean, the way I see it, she stole him from her her his previous relationship while his first baby mom was pregnant. So I mean, what do you expect? Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah, yeah, they've been fucking around for you know. years, right? What's up? They've been fucking around for years. Who? Him and Chloe? No, no, no. Supposedly for like months, this nigga and Jordan. I mean, uh, Tristan. Supposedly, from what they say, it was just a one-time thing. But what I'm saying is that like when Chloe and that fool got together, Chloe stole him from his pregnant baby mama. Yeah, so, all the same like, shit. Yeah, so I mean, it's just karma, you know what I mean? So now she's so the it's home karma. so the home record got home wrecked. Yeah, yeah. Oh, basically exactly. someone explained to me that the girl we stole it from her name was Jordan and now this nigga cheated on her with this bitch named Jordan. Hey, man, it was other way around. It was other way around. Oh, yeah, whatever, around. however it works. Someone yeah, tried to explain yeah, yeah. it to me. I was like, all right, that's what's up. <laughs> <laughs> that's what's up. I don't really go for that. I pound. Yeah, that nigga don't care. He don't care if he gets caught. Nah. nah. Hell nah. He ain't give no he fucks. Give fuck. He just has to play basketball and he's good. He said, oh, shit, you barely caught me? <laughs> <laughs> oh, y'all caught me finally? Shit, all right. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, someone that tall, you ask a nigga cop, bro. You can't just be up in the open like that. Just shit, bro. Yeah, exactly. But, oh, where? All right, Jordan. Let's go. You got enough money to go get a good-ass room. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But I guess this this led to uh, Kylie and Jordan, you know, breaking up their their best friendship. Well, she was living like with her, I yeah. guess. So she, she had kicked everything out. paid for, man. Yeah, like, mm-hmm. she had a life for real. Just had to be that bitch. Up. No. So does Jordan take the L in this situation? Yeah. I, I think so. so. Yeah. Yeah. Because who the fuck is she? After like before After this, this well, who the fuck is she? They somebody. say she's like an aspiring model though, so she's trying to get like a modeling career. Like, like, but like, oh, she could. Like, she could. Yeah, she could. Because she yeah, yeah. she's, she's now. She fuck. We might have to even pop a picture for the motherfuckers. Well, have you seen the before and after pictures though? I was like, she was a lot like chunkier before. So I mean, they said they 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 no no they say Kylie paid paid for her really chunky for her shit. I mean. Oh, you can't do that to y'all. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, and then damn. she had her own little makeup line with the shit, mm. but they they canceled it. So and and then she, it was she, she, she paid for like her, everything. Her lips yeah. done, right? That sucks. That's tough. That's tough. Kylie was like, "Girl, let me take you to my best doctor." Yeah, <laughs> Doctor Ricky. Yeah. 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 Doctor Ricky. Doctor Ricky. All right, all right. I think I know what to do here. Doctor Ricky. And then he got that bitch doing squats. <laughs> <laughs> It was all natural. Bitch, you got it was all squats. natural, I promise. <laughs> squats and burpees. <laughs> all day. Like, I'm, I'm looking at these pictures right now. I'm like, damn, there's no way you can reject this. She mad. What's she bad. up, baby? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's her age? She's 22? Uh, she's early, early dubs. Early dubs. Early dubs. Early dubs. She's like in his 30s. 
He said, "Bang it!" So I'm on next, yeah. man. He said, "I'm this bitch work definitely yeah. eating." She need to turn around, see what she turn it down. <laughs> yeah. DJ takes a bathroom break. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I guess Jordan takes the L. Tristan, don't give a fuck. Chloe, uh, I don't know what to say to you. Uh, fuck it. Uh, keep your head up. Yeah. <laughs> she got to do shit. She's part of that family. That family gets keep money. Keep it up with the Kardashians. Off the fucking shows and shit, yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is more money and for her. She's getting more publicity, more... For real. It was yeah. played out. Like, yeah, yeah, the mom like, might be behind all this shit, bro. Like, she's like, we need The mom's a witch. She really am. Like, I mean, they say the mom I'm, cheated on, on, on their father with, with OJ. And they say that Chloe might be OJ's dad. What? Yikes. Uh, daughter. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> Dude, Chloe might be OJ. Oh, I see you, OJ. Yeah. Hey. Hey, has jo- What's o- that? OJ been chilling, though, after, you know what I mean? I have been not back, heard, huh? I heard anything about OJ. OJ. He's yeah. like, oh, he's like, he got out, right? He should be, though. Yeah. He should be laying low. Like, I am chilling. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't getting with none of this fuck shit. I am off. Yeah, for real. Yeah, I feel him. <laughs> I feel him. in there for that long. Shit. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if something came up with OJ and like something with the Kardashian related or some shit like that. Oh, he banging somebody <laughs> oh, cheeks. No. You heard it here first. You heard it here first. He's about to kill them next, nigga. I'm planning everything, bro. You guys heard it here first. You gonna fuck around and kill yeah. them next, nigga. He looks at the Kardashians. <laughs> Slit them motherfucking throat, bitch. I got a new glove, bitch. Yeah. Oh, Extra man. grip. Extra grip. <laughs> <laughs> Extra small too. It don't fit. It don't fit me. <laughs> it don't fit for sure. But I'ma use it. <laughs> Buck around the chicken courthouse. I don't. Fit, just, bitch. just leave a baby glove in the scene, like. <laughs> 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 Alright man, so moving on man More bad behavior, more fuckery going down But at least there's some justice served uh, Jussie, what kind of name is that? Jussie got Jesse. arrested for You know um, fal- False what? <laughs> false uh, filing a Something like a hate hate crime. Hate crime. That, that's that guy that um, It's an actor or some shit like that mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah The homo Empire. actor that, yeah Jussie he, he faked his uh his little plot, his little plan. I he's feel stupid. like he deserves everything he's getting. Just How are you going to do that and have two big <laughs> black dudes do it? It was like Nigerian, <laughs> huh? Like, come on. How are you going to hire? You go, You say it's a hate crime dudes wearing mega hats, <laughs> but you got black dudes doing it. The fuck is wrong and with they're you huge. Guys? Like, they're bodybuilding huge. And I guess one of them was, selling, no was selling them drugs or something. I don't, I, I don't know all the full details, but he's gonna try and lie after and say that was his drug deal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Try to, you know, that's his excuse. That's his kind yeah. of problem. And then they yeah. work like in Empire Two or something. Yeah, I don't want to hear that shit. I think he tried to blame like on some men- mental illness shit too. He said he got a drug to every every angle right, right now. To get out. That's my drug dealer. What the, that why do Jesus. why do all these rich motherfuckers go to mental health? Because that's an easy way out. Yeah. But why isn't it an easy way out for a uh, normal dude? It is. I, I no, think. Is, really. I think because yeah, it is, there's, right. there's, there's, you can claim it in court. Because yeah, like we're, right. we're, we're watching everybody do. Yeah, yeah, watching you watching you fuck around. Like, yeah. I'm crazy. Because because we're in a time where they they call it victim culture, where we're all supporting the victim, we're all for the victim. You know, the victim gets famous. You know, we feel bad. You know, situations such as you know Mac Miller who passed away over a drug overdose, mm-hmm. and you know so. So now we're, we're we're trying to bring more awareness to people who are you know in, in the negative side of all this, in the in the in the in the victims to it. And so when people fake it, now it's getting it's getting serious. So so I that's why he's getting all that heat because there's people actually suffering and yeah. from all the all these things and yeah exactly. And he could have yeah. started something big like this. Yeah, you know, a whole race. A riot could have started yeah. a riot. Could have started a whole fucking riot. Could have. All right, man. All right, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you for sliding, bro. All right, thank you, Mr. Active Attractive. Thank you, Gabe. Keep the videos coming. Twenty one. Hey, you want to give a last minute plug? Hold on, man. Hold on. A last minute plug. Man, shout out twenty one. Go get that. All streaming platforms. Apple Music, Spotify, whatever the fuck mm-hmm. you want to listen to it on. Mm-hmm. YouTube, go slap that, man. Yo, keep snap. the hard work up, man. Hey, y'all keep that hard work hey, up. Hey, no, for real, though, I, I like what y'all doing, though. I like what y'all thank doing. You, keep on you, doing y'all you, shit. You. And I appreciate y'all for having me. For yeah, man. I appreciate it. Yeah, you. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. Too, man. For sure, for sure, for sure. Oh, yeah. And I'll be back. Hey. Yes, sir. Sure. Yes, sir. Yes, definitely, yes, definitely, yes, definitely. Thank you. And All right, bro. Y'all have a good one. Enjoy that game. Hey, who's going to work up? Monterey Manteca. Oh, okay, okay. For sure. Right, uh, does anyone want to fill uh, fill it up over here? Or, yeah, uh, let's go oh. back to the original seating way. All right. Hey, hey you want to move over here, bro? Yeah. We got we got the homie Sergio in the building as well. Yeah. Hey. 
He's gonna be tagged in. Be tagged in. <laughs> He's good. Sorry, dude. No, you're, you're gonna get tagged in. <laughs> <laughs> Whether you like it or not. <laughs> no. Feel free. Feel Pass free. Pass me the headphones. Uh, oh, the headphones. Oh, you got headphones? Oh. Yeah. You go in. I don't, know, I don't think they're gonna reach. No. no. I ain't gonna reach. Oh, they Valeverga, no. Reach. No, no. Alright, then you got him. Alright, sorry for that. So, so what we is? Alright, Jesse's a. Do you guys consider him a. Piece of shit, yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Scumbag, it, piece yeah. of shit, dumbass. It's just making me mad. It's like, bro, just accept that you, your, your faults fault. and then it'll just go away. Yeah, but you definitely. just keep adding lies on top of lies on top of lies, bro. You're building this lie cake and then nobody want to eat that shit, bro. Nobody. Like, yeah. and, getting... and he pissed off Chicago PD. Yeah. They, they fucking made fun of his ass. Yeah, and they're the most corrupt motherfucking police out here, bro. But yeah, they... so they know the game. Yeah. They know this whole shit. It's like, nigga, you know how many times we, we've done this to y'all? Mm-hmm. We know what you what you trying to do. Yeah, and it's only getting worse from here. It's like, dude, you gotta, you gotta cop out. You gotta be like, look, I fucked up. I'm sorry. Huge, yeah. Big apology. And he was trying to do it to get more money from Empire, huh? Or what's fucked up is I heard he was getting up to like over in the hundred thousands a episode. So what the fuck? Which is fucking crazy. Like, you know how motherfuckers really been getting beat up in hate crimes, and they're in Section Eight. Yeah. And you're over here tripping because oh, there's you dudes know in what? jail dying over hate crime. Yeah, getting stabbed up, like, chained up to a damn table. It's just fucking crazy, man. I was, I just, I mean, I never knew him before. I never watched Empire. No. And but it's just, I don't know, man. This is nasty, bro. So is bro. he still allowed to be in the cast, or did they, they cut him they out? Cut they, him they, they wrote him out. They wrote him out of the, the script. Should, yeah. So he went this. back to shoot his final scenes just to go ahead and write him out of the show. So he's, so he's not part of the show no more. Oh shit. Yeah, these. I mean, that's what he deserves. He's stupid. Yeah, fuck it. How you got yeah. whatever you he, got. He put his career. He put his career on the line. Yeah. He oh shit, him. we got Honda Civics passing by. <laughs> <laughs> well, you think? Uh, you think he? Someone might pick him up on another show later on the line. Nah, man. I feel like he should just be canceled all around. I think you so know, too. Be but he fucked up. He fucked yeah. up. He's gonna he do is, time, um, right? I think. I hope so, time. but I don't think he is, man. Mm. I mean, I hope so, but I don't who think knows, he is. Who knows? Then who definitely is doing time? You think is R. Kelly or some shit like that? There's, there's the law that charges you for that shit when you lie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. And, you go for a fake and police you, report. Yeah, yeah and mm-hmm. you could go to jail, but if you got money and a good lawyer, then you mean yeah, something you they could make something happen. Yeah. I think so, what what might cause him to go to jail is that he involved him writing a own like hate letter, and the fact that he mailed it through the federal, you know, U.S. postal. That's oh, federal yeah. shit. So now the feds are involved. So mm. maybe, but I mean, I still doubt he'll do jail time. Yeah. Mm. He's well, got to get something. He's got to get something. So yeah. I mean, he's uh, going to be in there with R. Kelly. R. Kelly's going to be singing to his ass. R. Kelly just posted <laughs> belt today, and I think he's about oh, to flee right. the country. <laughs> Can he, he flee Africa? the country? No, where's that one place that the other dude's at? Cuba? Russell Simmons? Yeah, where's he at? Somewhere in Africa. I forgot what it's called, but there's a certain spot in Africa where they, 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 can't, you, you, they can't extradite people. Yeah. So if you're there, like... Chilling. Yeah, he's he's chilling. And over there, he could get whatever he wants. I mean, I don't know. He's probably not living as luxurious as he was over here in the states. But you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> oh, you're t- oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're sick, bro. <laughs> I'll just be realistic, man. Hey, this motherfucker got so? sick thoughts, bro. You don't think so? Nasty. He he's gonna he, you, man. He's gonna go fuck around and Chino. watch. It's a nasty time. He's a nasty motherfucker. Well, but that was. Ah, yeah. Well, he's still he nasty. Just, it was back in the days that he did it. And I'm pretty yeah, sure he turned they, over a new Yeah, but what about the sex tape that, that they re- recently found? On yeah. Russell Simmons? No. Oh, no. I'm talking about R. Kelly still. Oh. I thought you were talking about Russell Simmons. No, oh. I'm sorry. Oh, well, R. Kelly, yeah. Well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They found, like, what, like, 13 new sex assaults? Something like that. 10 new 10, sex assaults. 10. Two new sex tapes. Uh, one of them involves the same 14-year-old girl from the previous sex tape that came out in the early 2000s. That he's pissing on? So it's like, yeah. So you it's still like, fucking with her? It's, no, it's like oh. an old one. Oh, shit. So but they just happened to find an old him, one. Yeah. So it's all VHS shit. And then the other one involves somebody else. I don't know. But I mean, it's from, what, from what it's saying, it's, it's, just, it's just nasty. From what they explain on the news, it's just, just nasty, bro. Like, he's stupid. Yeah. He deserves to go to jail. Well, if he flee, can he flee the country? Well, he got. They money. took his passport. Oh, but he, I mean, I don't know. You I mean, might find someone. Who, nah. yeah, yeah, you're out, yeah. You know. Yeah, they, they could get him yeah. though. I don't he know why. He had no yeah. bracelet, nothing like that, like mm-hmm. ankle bracelet and shit. Because mm-hmm. where do this? From from where is that? What's another stop before you get to Africa? 
I don't know. Because I'm sure there's, no a, there's a stop before you get to Africa. For a fact, yeah. So no. they could go ahead and fuck around and get him there. Nah, I don't know, man. But if he does that, if he's stupid enough to do that. Well, he, he has no money either. Uh-huh. So they, they got, know, they froze money. everything. Not, not, yeah, but not like that. Like, you never know. I mean, if I made a lot of money, I'll stash it offshore. Yeah, but after fighting so much, his lawyer shit, says he has no money. Yeah, yeah, paying his lawyer got more money than him his, because of all this shit. He signed off all his rights because the fool can't read or he can't write. So all He's, the contracts yeah. he was signing, he didn't know what he was signing. So obviously they throw him the bag in front of your face. But later on, the money that's gonna revenue from from all that music he made he's not making none of that bro. Oh, all shit. the popular songs he's made he's not getting a time from that everybody fucked him over because he's stupid damn <laughs> well that's what he gets for fucking little girls i guess and uh yeah he should have fucking spent more time trying to learn how to read and write instead of trying to fuck around with little girls fuck, man. just the whole the whole Aaliyah situation just kind of makes me just i know so right, just my, it makes my stomach you faked uh a oh. fucking birth certificate for real. So do you like, can go ahead and marry her, bro. Do like try watching that shit and defending him. <laughs> you can't. Have you seen the the documentaries? Yeah, yeah. Uh, where? Because I haven't. Oh, I haven't. Uh, it was on uh, Lifetime. They're showing it on Lifetime. Okay. Mm. But I, I don't know if it's on a Netflix now or whatever. Nah, but I'm sure. I'm sure you could. It hasn't been up. I've been looking yeah. for it because I still uh, haven't watched it. There's probably clips on YouTube. You can watch those. Some uh, clips. Yeah. They're coming out with a Michael Jackson documentary now. Oh, yeah. It's huh? just crazy. I, I heard they might involve that in those cases that he had with, like, Didn't children. one of the moms say that the kid was lying? No, well, the, he, thing the is, mom told the kid to lie. Well, the thing oh, is, the, the two that kids that, that are doing the documentary were the same people who said, oh, he didn't touch me in the original case. But now they're saying, oh, well, you know what? We lied. So you lied in court, and now you're coming out to say that you yeah. didn't lie for so, what I mean, like so who what and he's we, dead can already? we believe you just leave him alone yeah, man. Like, yeah. Yeah. Fuck, man. Like, I, I don't get how people don't say the truth in the moment where it could benefit you the most and then now you want to spill out the when it yeah. right money bro yeah money but but when they make the most money at, right there at the moment <laughs> but what money are they gonna get it depends because you could take it a trial blankets and it's a what if <laughs> if you don't have enough evidence but if they say i'll cash you out just to drop the case you're gonna take the cash Oh, so he got? They probably got paid there probably. to keep quiet. Yeah. Did it go to trial or no? If it didn't go to trial, a lot of times they take like a check and they just yeah, drop I, it. I think most people got to get coached before you take anything, you know, to a lawyer or anything like that. Even a lawyer will coach you, tell you, "Hey, this is what you got to say." Yeah. To make yeah. it believable. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They even, That's where you get the most money. Yeah. They even yeah. um like play through the whole role of like what's gonna happen in court and what you have to say. And if you fuck around, like you know, there you know how some dudes lose their patience, lose their patience, mm -hmm. and go ahead and fuck around, and say some shit. That's what lawyers don't want their clients to do. They'll tell you what to say. Yeah, you know they can say keep quiet and keep calm. Yep. Even if like you, they're trying to you, you know, you look guilty, but just keep calm if you're not guilty. So is this the first that we all agree that these people should get what's handed to them, whatever it is? Oh, oh yeah. yes. Yes. Jesse? Jesse and R. Kelly. R. Kelly they should deserve be whatever they're getting, right? R. Kelly yeah. Kelly should be molested again in jail. And Jesse should be oh, just <laughs> he should be getting dicks in his <laughs> mouth. Jesse should get raped by that. women because he doesn't like it. <laughs> Definitely, yeah. <he's, laughs> well, from what I heard, he was fucking bitches before he came out. So, I mean, who knows, man? <laughs> There's a lot of dudes that been the gay dudes that are fucking bitches before they came out. So they that's true. Have kids, bro. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. Cause that's how they find out, probably. <laughs> yeah. No, they got like they find that one that just had the most stankiest pussy. And like, nah, I can't do this no more. I don't like this. <laughs> <laughs> no more, no more. So yeah, so not best of wishes for them. <laughs> the worst of wishes for them. That's right. So yeah. All right, uh, moving on, man. This podcast is supported by Definitely Eaten Clothing Brand. <laughs> yes. Get your Definitely Eaten apparel now. Comfortable crew necks, classic t-shirts, female tank tops for your lady and your socks and for your feet that fucking get molded with toenails and all that fucking nasty shit. Fine, yes. man. <laughs> and also pins and lighters, whether you light candles, smoke weed, or crack, we don't judge, man. So make sure you get your drip on with Definitely Eating Clothing. Follow DJ at DJ.DefinitelyEating on Instagram. 
Uh, send him a friendly DM. Do not uh, <laughs> do not threaten him. <laughs> please, please do not. Act nice. Be nice. <laughs> and you'll get your packages nice. Yes, you get your packages sir. nice. Hey, yes. man. I, yes, I, yes, I heard sir. I heard from a bird in a fuzzy herb tree that you coming out with uh, definitely eating thongs right there by where the punani goes. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Because you definitely going to be eating it. Yeah, mm. there's some freaks wanting that, but... Uh, but this might, one is just gonna have the a, tongue just sticking out. <laughs> just, just yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. He might not be like this. He might be doing a different. Uh, yeah, instead of the money sign, it's gonna be the whole utensils or what? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. He might be cutting into that shit. I don't he know. might be cutting into this. <laughs> we'll see. We'll cutting see. Cutting into the cake. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You'll have yes, some whipped sir. cream and some strawberries. You know what I'm <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, but uh, what made you want to get the large lighters? You thought it would be cooler? Well, I didn't want uh, like any meat. I was trying first trying to go to like. The middle size ones, I guess you could say. Mm-hmm. But then once I thought about the middle size and, you know, prices and all that, I was, you know what, fuck it, like, let's just do large oh. size. And then I had to ask what type of brand it was as well. And once I found out it was big, it was it was perfect. Because I know uh-huh. a lot of people be using, like, the little cheap-ass ones that, are, like... Yeah. Little no crack lighters? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I didn't want... <laughs> and, you know, when Fluid. I... When I, anytime I do something with the brand, I want to make sure people are paying for what they, you know, what they're getting. And so, big is a very good, you know, quality, you know lighter so i made sure i i went with big large size and yeah i mean they're here so yeah yeah, yeah. Mm. Uh, i was hey they uh, dope though they dope as fuck <laughs> yeah, yeah. Shout out to everyone. Uh, three yeah. of them uh, i was yeah, pronouncing yeah. bink i didn't know how to pronounce it so it's big big i, pr- I pronounce it big it could be beak <laughs> i'm not sure if i'm saying big. it wrong shit it's my big. bad oh, it's big like but uh i've always heard big since when i was like 13 12 years old what if it's right though what if it is beak Hey, it could Yo, be. That's the name of the podcast. It could what be because remember, beak? remember at one point it was like a little penguin or something. Like you know, with, you know, you guys remember the big uh, uh, pens, like <laughs> literally thought, pens, oh, yeah. pens. Well, remember yeah. there was like a little penguin mm-hmm. on there. Yeah. I thought it was a little guy. Oh, was it a little guy? Yeah, it's it was a, a penguin, guy. like riding. Like it's a <laughs> I little, thought it was a like, penguin stick figure. <laughs> shit, I'm high as fuck. Nah, fuck with you. Nah, well, I thought it was a penguin. But anyways, if it's a dude holding something and shit, yeah, conspiracy. Yeah, man. I mean, shit. Ladders are here. New stuff will be coming up soon as well. Uh, you know, rolling trays eventually. Uh, yeah, you know what I mean? So, yeah, shit. Look out for that type of stuff. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, yes. Tyga got dragged out of Floyd's Mayweather so, party so, <laughs> like so, a fucking 10 year old. For real. Ah. And he's trying to get his security guard's gun and shit. Hey. He did too much. He did too much at the end. But, okay, so he was at the party. And um, he saw the repo man that took his Maybach. So he went to go to confront this motherfucker. And obviously, you know, shit popped off. And this nigga got dragged out. But Floyd Mayweather didn't give a fuck. He said it was a good, good publicity for him. So, okay. <laughs> but he got dragged out like a motherfucking dog, bro. Ooh. Oh, my God. Bro. There's like a meme like like uh, a, when a seven-year-old uh, carries a four-year-old. <laughs> Just like, <laughs> That's funny, bro. Oh, shit, dude. Because I didn't see, like, when I seen him get dragged out, I've seen, like, little <laughs> parents take, like, their crying kids outside of Walmart, like, when they don't get the toy they want. Just like that. Just crying and shit. Hey, did you guys see the one of the uh, the Titanic? It, where it, now oh they put the Titanic. Uh, I didn't see that one. <laughs> the movie covered. He was like, <laughs> oh, that, that one was funny. Hey, you know what, bro? So, if somebody so... needs to play that video with the background noise, like, no, no, they gotta play it with Joe Budden. Yeah, the Joe Budden, the Joe Budden version. <laughs> 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 That's. <laughs> Hey man, maybe Tiger was just trying to get a taste, man. <laughs> hey, that's it. That's it. Well, I mean, I I didn't think that Tiger would go ahead and reach for the gun like that. So I'm assuming he was really either drugged up or liquored up. Or Allegedly, fucking, I'm not accusing him of anything. Off. But <laughs> getting of dragged like a fucking little kid, he must be pissed off, dude. He wanted his Maybach back, boy. Right. He said, hey, man, you took my Maybach. Why don't you make your payments, you stupid motherfucker? Why don't you, why don't you show that energy towards Soldier Boy? <laughs> Damn, Damn, man. Damn, bro. Damn, Ricky. <laughs> <laughs> For real, Soldier Boy right here clowning on him. Well, they dropped diss tracks against each other now. So so who dropped it first? Uh, Tiger. Oh. Tiger? Tiger went on uh, LA Leakers, dropped a freestyle, and sent a couple shots. And then obviously, 
Big Draco. <laughs> he ain't gonna let that slide. <laughs> so he dropped a diss track on uh, SoundCloud. I couldn't get through it just because I uh, I can't stand listening to his shit. Bro. Is it is it recent he's, where like he's gonna reference that that incident? Yeah, he referenced. Oh, I fucked your baby mama and I played Fortnite with your son. Like, <laughs> play that's Fortnite with your like son. Like that's that's foul, bro. Like I mean, if, go beef however you're gonna beef, but leave the kids out of it. I you gave your I mean? woman satisfaction and I spent quality time with your son like a father. There's a lot of dudes that use that line. <laughs> Sada Baby uses that line. Cool. Sada Baby. I don't know who that is. Oh, he's oh, from Detroit. Yeah. Yeah. About. yeah, that should go hard. On his new his new uh Towards album. somebody specifically or he just said it. Oh no, he I don't he know. He just said it. He just, I don't I just, know who he's beefing with, but yeah. Mm. Hey man, dudes be like not taking care of their kids, but then diss other dudes for taking care of their kids. <laughs> they get mad. <laughs> oh, they it's get a mad. cycle. It's like a cycle. So, right. so the dude that's dissing <laughs> That's taking care of like the other dude's kid is not taking care of his kid, and another dude's taking care of his kid because you know it's yeah. shit like that. So I think I that's the know. future situation with Sierra and Russell. You know what I mean, but what then? They're they having problems. Well, I mean, yeah, like what's, uh, what's that? What's up? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Like, <laughs> like, like, like Sierra's, <laughs> Sierra's <laughs> mad. Her <laughs> husband <laughs> now is just taking care of future's kid. Oh, and it's oh, just like, oh, oh, yeah, yeah. I thought you meant her and Russell are having problems. <laughs> oh no, no, no. no. Cause that nigga cannot future. fuck that shit up. Sierra, man, that bitch is still fun. Remember when they were saying she was transsexual back in the days? Uh, Hell yeah. Yeah, they're like, look, look at the print. They're trying to say, look at the print on one of the videos. Huh? We, we, I forgot what video it was. I think it was my goodies. <laughs> my goodies. Yeah, they're trying to say, look at the look at her print. Uh, I know they said the same shit with with Lady Gaga too, and that's why she came out with that video, like. Oh, she really does have a pussy. Like she doesn't have a dick. And remember, she was naked in the fucking yeah. video. Yeah. Lady Gaga without the whole yeah. whole like bullshit. She she's all right. Yeah, yeah, I didn't know this. Oh uh, no, yeah. Because I seen her with all the crazy shit, and I was like, Ugh, but she just looks normal. Yeah, like, you know, you, uh-huh. you're decent. I guess she, she, she just hides really it. Good, yeah, she yeah. she can sing. She sings really good. Lady Gaga? Like, she just hides it. She I just put her in her tonsils. <laughs> <laughs> Make her sing a high note. Allegedly. <laughs> No, it's a, just a mid note. <laughs> a little, a mid, not a little mid note. <laughs> okay. Oh fuck, man! Hey, man, remember when she wore all raw meat? <laughs> oh yeah. All oh. oh, the caution signs. And what? didn't they? Speaking about her, she she just won something in the Oscars, didn't she? Uh she I didn't. I believe so. She won. She won some shit. I don't. I don't. I saw it on Instagram. Best dressed. <laughs> I don't know. Shit. No, Talking about song. that, that um, Mexican artist won that shit too, right? Like oh, this little that. fucking, I forgot her name, but I was with. <laughs> yeah, Jalitza. Jalitza? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, she's from Oaxaca, no? Yeah. Oaxaca? Yeah. Oaxaca? <laughs> Oaxaca? Yeah, right, she, yeah. won, she won uh, an Oscar. Oscar. Up. Rapping. The door. She won an Oscar or what? I think uh, she, so. was, she was nominated for one. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Well, I mean, if you get nominated, your your price goes up still. Who yeah. won it? The the director won it, but she didn't win anything. She just, you know, they they gave her a shout out. You know, she was there. Okay. Like her her path came from like uh, being being poor over there in Oaxaca. Okay. You know, like she's a like half Indian, like you know. Yeah. Native. Native make. Yeah. <laughs> That's what's up. So shout out yeah, to them, yeah. You know? Native Americans don't like don't like being called Indians. Native. Yeah, yeah they yeah they don't like it because that's a, what Christopher Columbus gave them. White people's. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's true. because the, yeah stamp. because when he came through he thought he was in India but he was in somewhere right. else. Yeah, that's where he came from. so he thought he was in India. So oh these are Indians now my fucking Native Americans. The natives, man. Bro, like all all of these names that we have is is really just stamps. It's, it's wrong. Really just labels. Yeah. Mexican, Salvadorian, black. Black is a color. White I'm, is a color. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know just colors X. Yeah. <laughs> Race X. Huh? Race yeah, X. Yeah. Gender now. Before before <laughs> Mexico a label. before gender Mexico got, got like all split up with all these little things, it was all all that whole thing was just all Mexico. This was Mexico. Yeah. 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 We're in Mexico. That's right. All it. down and up. That's why that they found an excuse to like. Fight a war or something like yeah, shit. Some Americans civil got wars killed and shit like that. In Texas, something yeah. like that. But it wasn't even their territory. It was Mexicans' territory, oh, and that was their excuse to fight and take over the land, pretty much. Where's Chewbox at? <laughs> I know, I know. Shout out to Chewbox. When you, <laughs> but you know what's funny? Lesson. I seen a post today of one of the Trump hats, and it says "Made in Mexico" on it. 
<laughs> made it. Yeah, oh, oh I seen that God, shit. No way. I swear. I think I actually shared it. I would yeah. think he'd be making them in China. At least. Now he don't made like Chinese Mexico. people either. He don't, he don't like, like nobody, oh, man. man. <laughs> he don't even like his wife. His wife don't like him. Trump don't get no pussy. He pays for it. Yeah. Pays Trump for definitely it. Pays, pays his wife for it. <laughs> nah, nah. <man. laughs> he probably does. That bitch don't even hold his hand. She don't, you know, you can tell she don't like them. Yeah, hell no. yeah, bro. It's been caught on camera multiple times where they just don't look happy. No, not at all. June Kapooler. Oh, oh, yeah. like, Show nah. the camera. Nah. 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 Um, I like, I like, uh, Thadis. June. You like and, that, Tatiana's? Yeah. Uh, June and Melani. It's crazy. Show June. June. <laughs> June <laughs> it's not my cup of tea, man. <laughs> you don't want to show it to the camera? All right. <laughs> Oh, that's fuck that, dude. Fuck it. Show it to webcam. <laughs> he said, nah. You can't really see the tag where it says made in Mexico, yeah. but it says made in Mexico. Well, and it says, awkward. well, this is awkward. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, crazy. so <laughs> who has a W imagine, on that? Imagine, imagine the, 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 no more the Mexicans hands. working on that. Mira este hijo de puta. Lo que me, lo que me tiene haciendo. <laughs> <laughs> for real. Right, they yeah. probably like, this nigga want us to build a board and we over here making hats for this motherfucker. Este con mi great America. Making, making new eras and shit. <laughs> Talking about that, they're, they're putting, um uh what do you call it? They're looking to veto. Is that the right word? No. Levito? Vito, his command, or whatever, <laughs> hey, whatever it's called. Yo, Ricky, if the price is right, you making hats for uh, Trump? Of course you are, huh? Yeah, of course. I'm a businessman. Okay, okay, okay. You know, I don't support it, but I'll make his hat. You'll make his hat. I'll make his hat. Okay, okay. Anyways, he called uh, the executive law to call the emergency for the border wall, so Congress is challenging it. So all they need is, like, two Republican votes, and it passes to just block his little thing or whatever yeah because they don't want to give him it. all that billions of dollars he wants yeah, so that's up i think coming up too what he wants like eight billion that. or 80 eight, something like that yeah, yeah. Him, so. yeah. other states did too so yeah. hopefully they it passes republicans don't support trump i just don't <laughs> get what the point is they build a, if they if they so happen to go ahead and magically build this wall what makes you think they're not gonna find another way to get over it like what the fuck For, like, uh, when they built the first one they're just gonna start. Way they're to just get gonna it. start parachuting down, bro. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Narc would be fucking genius with shit. For the longest, they were using submarines to bring shit in. Yeah. And then they were using little torpedo shits that they attached to boats, and mm -hmm. they would bring it in. Someone in the water just waiting for the boat to pull up. El yeah. Chapo escaped twice through tunnels, man. Like they're what still makes you? They're using tunnels. Yeah. After El Chapo. Exactly. Yeah. The one they're building the wall. They're gonna make they're a tunnel. Build, tunnel. Yeah. They built one in the prison. Yeah. What makes you think they're not gonna build a little one that old? Under and over a fucking It'll pop up at a Popeyes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's true. It's like whack a mole, nigga. They're gonna be popping up everywhere out the ground, yeah, nigga. Pretty much. But little do they know, like drugs are brought in by like the United States <laughs> Army by themselves. Yeah. It ain't even through Mexico. It's within their own government that brings in the drug. Yeah. Oh yeah. Because they want the confrontation to happen so they could get they could pass the law that they want. Exactly. It's a like, trade, like to they like the whole gang. They bring drugs up here. The whole gangs and shit. They provided the whole guns so everybody could go ahead and kill each other. And look, we got gangs. We gotta arrest them all. We gotta take them out. So the new world order right. conspiracy, mm -hmm. nigga. America. The, have you guys heard of the Salinas riot? Barely. It barely happened. The one in Solidarity. Oh, was it in Solidarity? Yeah, it was in Solidarity. Yeah, the riot they had. That was crazy. What happened? Uh, there the was riot. a riot at the prison. Yeah. Oh shit! Yeah. In Solidarity. Yeah, and then. I, I was reading the comments on Instagram and Facebook. They were saying that it might be a setup, you know, by the by the cops. No what? way. Mm. Yeah. Yo, Bloodshot's in the Soledad prison. Shout out to Bloodshot. Okay. Who's Bloodshot? Ronnie's homie. Yeah. Ronnie's oh. homie. That's who it is. Uh, don't know like, him. <laughs> we don't know him. That's why he's in there. Okay. But it's Ronnie's homie, and we okay, trust well, him. Well, shout out. <laughs> shout out. <laughs> a friend of yours is a friend of ours. Hell yeah. yeah. Friend of the show, man. Oh yeah! Hey, when a he gets friend, out, friend. tell him to slide through. Man. Tell him to slide through, but don't bring a shank, <laughs> <laughs> a toothbrush shank. <laughs> he said, "Fuck! I forgot to throw this." Dog <laughs> rapper, my bad, Sam. <laughs> He's listening and like, I'm gonna get to every, each and one of you. He guys. said, "Watch everybody was talking shit." We go writing our names on the wall. <laughs> my name is Daniel. <laughs> he, he has Ronnie what? circled. What? <laughs> friend. friend. <laughs> Everybody else <laughs> ain't cool. <laughs> Shit. So shout out to him from Ricky. Oh, yeah. <laughs> shout out to him from Ricky. <laughs> Ricky can't run right now. Get over there. Get over there. Show me you can walk. Come on. Yeah, I can walk. Right. 
<laughs> like, I've been dreaming about walking, bro. I know that That's shit the worst you guys know. But in my dreams, I'm still kind of limping. And like, it still wait, hurts, but I, I pretend to walk. Were you walking <laughs> on the treadmill? No, nigga, like, just walking. Then just around my house, just dreaming about walking. Bro. So why'd you be <laughs> sleepwalking, you know? nigga? Oh, shit. So when you wake up to the, from the dream, do you just assume, oh, my foot's good? And He's like, oh, shit. Like, I get tempted. <laughs> I get tempted to... Put because some weight on that, but it's like, oh shit. I didn't have <laughs> dreams where I didn't rob shit and put it in a drawer and I wake up like, fuck, where's all the money I took? And I was like, oh fuck, stupid me. It was a fucking dream, bro. I'm going through my sock drawer expecting to find a couple bands in there. And I'm like, nah. <laughs> this nigga's dream about pulling the lick. Broke out here. <laughs> was I pulling the lick with you? No, nah, you. So I nah. had a dream. Oh, ever since I stopped smoking weed, bro, I've been oh, having yeah. these crazy, yeah, these vivid dreams. Yep. Bro, I hate it. I hate dreaming. Nope, it happens. I hate it. It happens when you quit smoking weed. You, your dreams come back. Yeah, it's weird. Huh, shit. DJ? DJ yeah. knows about it because no, you know shit. when you know when you, I know you I know, know when you were in school, you quit. You quit. You quit yeah, smoking. Yeah, yeah, when yeah. you were so, cool. did were you yeah. having your dreams coming back? Uh, From what you remember? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. I can say yeah, yeah, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so it's a known fact. Yeah, that, uh, I recently got got on a break yeah, for true. like all, almost three and months. And you're dreaming more, right? <sighs> Fuck, I was like, fam, what, what, fam? No, you know this what's nigga crazy? busting in his hey. pants, nigga. <laughs> Just having his wet dreams. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> nah, it's weird when some actually like speak to you. Like you wake up yeah. and you're like, oh shit, like a couple <laughs> days ago. Well, no, I'm talking about like you could be in a certain scenario in your life and you're like, oh shit, like is this a sign or am I just fucking? Am I just, just having fucking? a fucking dream? Yeah. Hey, you know, mm. you know what's funny? Am I just fucking? Is that what you just like? <laughs> <laughs> had a wet dream? Yeah, I'm, like, yeah. I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> hey, man, I took a break and then I kept having dreams that I was fucking lit off my ass, dude. That I was in just your like, dream? yeah, in my dreams, what? I was stoned, bro. I haven't like, had dreams like, like, that. Like, 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 I'm just passing off the joint. I'm just like, fam, bro. Like, it's that first high kind of high. Like, you know, when you first got lit and you first, like, fucking. Your dreams yeah. are telling you this is what's going to yeah. happen. No, no, some are tripping. Some I, some might be messages and yeah. I, I take them like that. I'm like, okay, you okay. Yeah. Some are messages. It, it if they be, seem too, yeah. if they seem too fake, like, oh, what the fuck? Like, what the fuck was that yeah, about? It, then it's like I, I ignore it. I'll, I'll eventually forget about it in a few hours. So but. what are what are your what have you been dreaming about? Bro, it's crazy. Like, uh, I mean, I had Shardy in the bed and like. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, that was your dream. Yeah. Or no, 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 you no, legit. Like, literally, she <laughs> okay, was okay, okay. But in the dream, like, was someone, there. like her mom called her up. She was all like. She was like, oh, are you fuck around with this nigga again? Like, why? And then I, oh, I woke okay. up and I was all like, tell her I said, hi. I was like, yo, <laughs> like, why is your mom tripping? She's like, what are you talking about? She was like, like, she called you up this, like, this morning, like, early in the morning. She's like, no. I was like, what well, are you okay? I was like, oh, shit, that was a dream. Like, Shit like that. The other day I had a dream Casanova was in my crib chilling. <laughs> this nigga tried to tell me he was 18. Me and him had an argument over the fact of his age. It's just stupid <laughs> shit, bro. Like, Man. some shit don't make sense. The Casanova day, was going to fuck was, you up. Was, like, nigga, I'm 18. Night, last night's dream, I was in a rehab next to CVS. Like, I don't... It's just, just fucking crazy shit. And the fact that I don't remember having no dreams up until, like, I stopped. Smoking yeah. weed is just. It's Do you guys ever young. get reoccurring dreams? I want to. No. Like, what? Reoccurring dreams? Like you guys dream the same dream? Oh. I think I've had that happen before. What? Wait, what? But like reoccurring dreams? Like you dream the same shit? Well, oh, are no, you man. able to like sometimes like I have a dream, I wake up <laughs> and go back to sleep Sorry. and pick up where I left up. On that dream. I've done that before, yes. How do you guys do that? I was about to say that because I know you stop a nigga... smoking weed. <laughs> no, you can't just get into it. Well, I ain't gonna do that. Hey, it's like, bro, go to settings. <laughs> go to settings. Because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> you said go to settings. You said go to backup. He said go to update. <laughs> <laughs> I know a nigga. My nigga was talking. Was telling me about that when we were working this um couple like couple weeks back he was telling me that he was having a dream this nigga woke up went to go piss and he legit just fell back into the dream it happens i'm happy like, i mean i don't dream a lot like when i dream like i take it very serious because i don't dream a lot like i won't dream for shit but when something's concerned or i want something really bad like i'll dream about it like i really would but other than that but i've been having reoccurring is it, oh, is it just because you're thinking about that so much that it just that's what continues, i think you it, know? Could be a, it could be a little stress i heard it sometimes it when, you, when you're overthinking something like it'll, it'll pop up when you're sleeping yeah because i've been yeah. stressing out like i'd be like fuck like i want to be able to walk again so, maybe so that's you're dreaming why. about walking yeah. yeah so this is like the second dream i've had of me walking one of them i was in my new place another one i was somewhere else so why are you dreaming about rehab ronnie maybe because the fact that i haven't i haven't 
been smoking like that? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But I was in a rehab he with like know. a group of people. It was a Just home. Just to make it clear. It was the one person that I recognized there, and it was, was it me? Nah, it wasn't right, you. Cool, Obviously, cool. not you. <laughs> the right, cool. Lord. Right, yeah. Yeah. I, I ain't there yet. Anything in my rehab, there's a poster of you with an X on it, bro. Because it's stay, just we. Stay away from this nigga. I'm, 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 I'm gonna do the 40 days, and then I'm gonna go back to it. Mm. Okay, okay. Nice. I'm gonna see, see how I feel after the 40 days, because I feel like maybe after 40 days, yeah, I'm not gonna even gonna want like, to. Yeah. Get, that, get that clarity. You won't have that much of an urge. Yeah, but I don't want to go back to smoking like weed. Weed. I'm probably just straight CBD, like yeah, shit like CBD, that. Maybe, mm. maybe edibles. Yeah, nah, <laughs> never, edibles never you, really work. I mean, um, no, no, because there's CBD gummy edibles. Yeah. That's what I. That's they what never I work for me either, but but maybe because now the fact there's that my a, there's is, been a new like ooh. research that supposedly some some labs that tests for that weren't actually putting enough CBD in anything. Oh, yeah, you know what I mean? So, that's why I don't trust so, shit like that So either. there could have been a lot of dispensaries that have been selling a lot of shit so oh, this is CBD, but it ain't. But you know how CBD doesn't get you high, so people are like, oh, okay, it's just... Just CBD. Yeah. Stick I'll, to the I'll, old I'll school weed yeah. and alcohol, yeah. man. You need a TAC for the CBD <laughs> to actually work, though. No, you got to just pure CBD, CBD. No, there's like... What kicks it off is a little bit of TAC, because without a little bit of TAC, no, because, it's not going to work. No, because CBD, it, say, you know how you be getting, like when you get hell, you used to get hella high, your paranoia would kick in. If you were to smoke a little bit of CBD, it would calm down your high so you wouldn't get yeah. that paranoia. That CBD anxiety. calms yeah. down. CBD is a, a opposite. It calms down the high. But from what I heard, like when it comes to smoking it, no, it doesn't kick off. The CBD doesn't kick off unless you have a little trace of THC in it. Not enough to like. If Get you're talking you about like, like the plants, like talking like, plants, I'm talking oh yeah, plants yeah, strictly. it does come with a little bit of CBD, yeah, plants, like, plants like that, yeah. yeah. But no, if like you're talking about like tinctures and stuff, and stuff like, like that, that. no, there's a lot that, of probably. there's a lot of that just pure CBD, and like um, for stuff for the pens that you could refill, mm -hmm. there's some syringes that are just pure CBD to fill up the pens, half grams and shit. Oh, they're like twenty five bucks. Mm. Damn, yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, and it's it's nice. It's yeah. nice. Uh, yeah, and, and I could feel the CBD effect too, cause like I don't get anxiety. I'm not worried. Yeah. I'm not like overthinking. I shit, think the you know? best way to take CBD is a dab. I'm not just saying because you got my dabber, but because it's just the pure CBD. You're getting the whole thing, and you get yeah, and it it doesn't. You're not coughing. It doesn't irritate your throat. You're not getting high. You're just getting the relief. Mm. Okay, okay. That's Damn, dope. Man. This yeah. past dope. week, I couldn't eat for shit, bro. I'm happy for CBD, man. You need to eat, nigga. You need to smoke. <laughs> I, know. I know I need to smoke. Yeah, you need to eat. Because before, like, I even started, I started smoking at 13, 14 years old. But before that, I never ate. No, we were like, yeah. how old were you in, the, in my backyard? Well, the first time we ever, ever smoked weed, we was like in the seventh grade. So it was probably like same 11. Yeah, same huh? here, same here. Yeah. Y'all got a funny story? I, I smoked with a nigga. Oh, okay. First of all, we didn't know. We smoked it out of binder paper. We rolled we up a little joint. Bro, <laughs> me, bro, me, me and, and this three th others, we rolled it up on binder paper. We go, there's cow fields in stop, Marina. Stop, stop. Ronnie, stop. <laughs> we go to Marina, there's cow fields. And Chill. we smoke it with this dude. And I shit you not, this dude was fucking like, he hit it. Oh he started bro. coughing all crazy. He started saying, you got to call the ambulance. You got to call the ambulance. We're seventh graders. Like, fuck no, we ain't calling that fucking yeah, ambulance. Yeah, yeah. You're going to die, this motherfucker. Like this on the ground just keeps coughing and coughing and coughing. And we're like, fuck, like, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? And he finally came down and she's like, bro, I'm not hitting that shit no more. But I didn't even get high. I did yeah. not get high. Well, yeah, me, me and this nigga, like well, he said very first time, we fucking stripped the gummy, the gum wrap. We took the oh, foil out of the gum yeah. wrap and rolled that, rolled that Little did we know there was wax on that paper, but we smoked it. <laughs> we didn't even smoke the whole thing. We just smoked like half of the joint. But before that, I completely forgot. Me and homie over here smoked wait, tree wait, wait, fourth wait, wait, wait. grade. I don't know. I don't remember. We rolled it up in binder paper, bro. Literally just like, <laughs> hey, like a binder group of us. Just... Go. <laughs> DJ came through. Look what I got. <laughs> no, nah, bro. After that, I remember like we was like in the fourth grade. We would go into the bathroom, and just roll up paper and just smoke it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I can't imagine you guys are trying to roll yeah. up with a binder paper. <laughs> but, uh, fourth me, grade. In the <laughs> we just imagine like a little fourth grader, like no puberty, like <laughs> coughing and shit, like. <laughs> Yeah, the girls, the girls go use the bathroom. They come back. It smells like smoke. It smells like smoke. It's just like Fuck, shut up, we're bitch. about to get caught. 
Or like, what's up, baby? Fuck with me. You know what I'm saying? You want to borrow my pencil, baby? You want to borrow my pencil? It should have lead pencil, baby. You want to borrow, like borrow, borrow my gel pen, baby? I got turquoise and uh, orange. What's up? What's up yeah. Shit. It went, it went from that to like fucking sneaking fucking little stoke, stoke hits in the bathroom. I remember niggas in Central would be up in like up on the stool, up on the fucking toilet, blowing it out the fucking window. What's crazy is that like us in high school, we would always sneak off and just smoke tree because that's oh, yeah. all there was was tree. Wax was like some dark, nasty blob back in the no, day. No, when I got introduced mean? to wax, I got introduced to wax when I was in well, fucking junior year. I, no, I thing? saw I saw it sophomore year, but when I smoked, it was junior year. I was at my homie's pad, bruh. Bro, what? Bro, I was because so you need, it was like some nasty shit. Yeah, it was some to... nasty shit, but shit, I got so fuck. It looked nasty, but I got so fucking high. But the fact that I, I feel like I would have done better in school now if I would just go, oh, yeah. be able to yeah. go to school with a pen, just go to the bathroom, take a couple puffs, and like, oh, I'm high, I'm ready to go back to class. You know what I mean? But the fact yeah, that we had to you... sneak out and fucking roll up. Yeah, and... but you know, you know how you know yourself. You said it. You don't got no patience, so you probably didn't have no patience to just sit in that classroom. But if Ooh, he was man. lit, he would have had high. It. Nah, I don't know. he just want He would probably just want to sneak off and get more high. I get anxious, that's how we, bro. That's how we were. I can't sit in a certain place, just like. <clears throat> I don't know if you noticed, but I always move my knee. Yeah, yeah. and Sanctuary. I try to stop it's it too, because it. like, uh, <laughs> I don't know, like it's. I just can't sit still. It's just like. It. You notice it's like fuck. How long I've been moving my knee for? It's like it's yeah, bro, kind of like a, you a do that in the too. car. You do that in the car. Nigga thinks it's an earthquake and shit. <laughs> <laughs> You. Yeah, I yeah, know that's why I be I be in the passenger seat just moving my leg. Niggas is like, man, why the fuck my car shaking? <laughs> yeah, I'm just like, my bad. Yeah, there's some people that just can't stay still to get a move together. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, and then they want to go ahead and fucking label them as ADHD or something. You know, that's why they made it those little spinners. Yeah, little fidget spinners. Yeah, yeah they made. That's, that's why they made all the all that yeah. shit. Yeah. Originally, for then everybody yeah. just kind of took it as a fad and just fucked yeah, it just up. wanted to play with it. Yeah, like a trend. Those yeah. Yeah. That little flicker things too. I actually I don't have fuck with it all day. <laughs> I'll be Bruh. like this. Or the little, <laughs> sque- the little squeeze toys and shit. People I didn't mess with it. Or, or, or it was that just, for anxiety, right? It's for yeah, when people are stressing. Yeah. Because I used to just click my pen all the day. Mm, yeah. Or I had where you're able to yeah. like spin your your pen and catch yeah. it. I used yeah. to do that all the time too. Just put like it that. like all around you. Like, no, I didn't, I didn't like, get to that one. It was just like it's just simple. Yeah, there was a guy who was like, <laughs> I'm like, fam, <Yeah>. <laughs> like, yeah. are you a ninja? <laughs> Just like, <laughs> I remember that. But yeah. Uh, shit, man, this was a nice rant. It was a nice rant. We kind of went off topic. It was good. <laughs> oh, wow. shit, we did. Yeah, it was good. <laughs> I like that. Well, we, I like we, that. We, well, we got to go, Andre, yeah? Oh, um, well, we were talking about, uh, you know, President Trump and uh, Republicans uh, earlier. Uh, there's a, a presidential uh, candidate who is running for president. He's running as a Democrat. Uh, last week episode we talked about Bernie Sanders. How you know some people are excited for that, and I think some people might be excited for this guy is uh, Andrew Yang, Yang uh, is he, is he, Asian. Okay, yep. Asian Yang. Uh, Asian guy uh, running for president. Is and he from the Yang? Is he ones? like full <laughs> like, like full Yang, Asian Yang. Or, or he looks Asian? So. What? Well, He's Asian what? and he looks okay, Asian. Okay, so he's smart. He's smart. Okay, yeah, okay, okay. he's smart. <laughs> duh. duh. He said duh. Well, he knows his duh. mathematics. What's What's interesting about this? Uh, he, what What he's like uh, proposing? What he's like trying to provide is uh, he's trying to provide as U.S. Citizens, U.S. citizens eighteen and above a thousand dollars per month just for not being in jail. Ooh, yeah. that's dope. Yeah, you gonna get a thousand dollars, bro? Democrat or Republican? Uh, Democrat. What Democrat. do you mean? What do you mean? Like, so what are you talking about? Well, he's gonna uh, pay. Yeah, he's good pay citizens. Citizens. So we would get paid. Yeah. Don't, even sound, don't even sound real. I mean, does it sound? Imagine how much money that would be. That's I know. What I'm that's yeah. a lot of money. That's and a lot, lot of money. Yeah, 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 but but he was talking about that. He was like, there, there's already billions and trillions into welfare and food stamps. There's already that stuff. So what? I don't know if it's for sure. Uh, maybe, maybe he's thinking about cutting out the welfare, cutting out the food stamps, all that little, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Just and just give everybody a thousand dollars per month. Maybe not each person, but maybe he's giving away well, yeah. thousands, right? You're saying like like a thousand divided per by month. all the people, right? I'm assuming because uh, well, if it's eighteen, th- eighteen and above. Because think about how many motherfuckers there's in this world, bro. Like yeah. that's what I'm saying. That's not, a lot. Yeah, I w- I a lot. Is, bro, not, yeah. not the world, the U.S. Well, that's something. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm thinking about the whole U.S. I like, would yeah. rather get free healthcare. 
Yes. Yeah. You know, well, like yeah. Well, I, I don't think he's saying anything about healthcare or something. No, I, I think I, yeah. I would, that's what he's saying. Yeah. I would say. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. Instead yeah. of that, just give us free healthcare. Yeah. Shit, yeah. Let's just move towards like where Europe's at, just free healthcare and free fucking education. Canada, not free healthcare. Yep. Yeah, but you gotta be a citizen. Yeah. So, so there's a question on, on his website. It's, it's uh, how True. would it's a. Uh, um, how would we pay they, for you? Because because that's what he's talking about. He's calling it universal basic income, where U.S. citizens get a thousand dollars per month just for not being in jail. And there's a question on his website saying, "How will we pay for universal basic income?" And it would be, and the answer is, it would be easier than you might think. Andrew proposes funding UBI by consolidating. Fuck, I can't say it. Some welfare welfare programs and implementing a value added tax VAT of ten percent. Current welfare and social program benef benefits would be given a choice between their current benefits or $1,000 cash unconditionally. Most would prefer cash with no uh, restriction. So, yeah. And then it keeps going on. You know, like there's one, there's two, there's three, there's four explaining the details. So if you guys want to check it out, go to yang2020.com. But I mean, why staying out of jail? Why not something like if you're doing something productive? Why can't you well, get rewarded? Well, that's yeah. why you, if you're doing yeah. something productive, you're yeah. out of jail. <laughs> yeah. But still, it's like you're not going to jail. It's like, well, I mean, there's a lot of homeless people that aren't yeah. in jail, so yeah. they're just gonna get a thousand dollars off rip. Uh, well, the, 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 but that's what he's talking their, about. Feed like their drug addiction or like, <laughs> I, I don't know, for real. I don't know, but it would decrease the homelessness. It would decrease the maybe. There's a lot maybe. of there's a lot of homeless guys that prefer their drugs. Well, in it, the it, home. It, it would prevent it, it, it would crazy. prevent mm -hmm. people going homeless. Oh, I think I don't go Not downtown. Really. Do you know how much rent runs for over here? Yeah. Well, that's why the thousand dollars will help. That's just for. Let me know when you find a place for a thousand. Yeah, bro. No, no. A thousand dollars would help no, on top I mean, of the no, jobs no, no, that you're cause, working. Cause, cause, yeah, yeah. Because like, it's, it's not gonna help you with everything. You're still gonna have to work yeah. regardless. But imagine but, five homeless people get together. Like, all right, bro, we all get together. Get one house. That's five yeah. bands in one month. Yeah, they're gonna, but they're gonna make a little apartment to a fucking tweaker home. <laughs> to a tweaker home. You want At least you got a home. <laughs> yeah, but shit. <laughs> yeah, they're gonna be living next to you doing crack. <laughs> it sounds good. I feel like yeah. it'll only work like if you're if you're got a job or and like plus some, there's some there's like all these shit, um I mean. dudes that run and do do all this shit they just say a whole bunch of stuff that they can't really promise exactly that's it's, why it's a whole different story it sounds dope but i mean like bernie good. bernie's promising all these kind of stuff <laughs> trump been promising the wall oh, that's that's, what they're, all that's things, what they're supposed yeah. to do though they're supposed yeah. to sell it to you yeah, just like yeah. products every commercial they got to sell it to you that's all it is that's yeah they're commercials basically sure. they, yeah, yeah. And they want you to buy yeah come and buy and vote that's how, you, that's how you buy you vote oh yeah that's how they get you to vote so talking mm -hmm. about people running for president is trump like looking to run again is that know. or is it just automatically i think it's automatic right because i they think, gotta go I against think the party uh decides who's gonna run so it doesn't matter if mm -hmm. he's the president again they decide yeah they they they, they pick from the republican party who's so gonna, if they don't like them they're gonna, gonna be like no nah, we don't want him. most yeah, likely it's probably like a better candidate instead for the republicans to win yeah. but, he is but most likely they're gonna choose trump. yeah well he got yeah. the popularity yeah. right now yeah yeah so but bernie man bernie he's a good man yeah i would <laughs> say <laughs> what he's saying what he's saying <laughs> you got your vote just the way he stood last I'm, time I don't he vote. ran for it you don't vote mm -hmm. Just how he stood from last time, I would vote for him. Yeah, but you know, Andrew Yang does propose some, some, you know, some. How old is Andrew catching. Yang? Uh, well, the it's above at thirty five. You got oh, okay, you know, so he's about rules, like thirty five. So, so it's above at least. 35. Mm, yeah, at least 35. yeah, because that's the rules in order to run. You got to be thirty five and up, and a U.S. citizen, and then of course you got to get that money for your and campaign college and college and all that yeah. and a whole bunch of bullshit. Yeah. Yeah. All that, all that hard work. Yes, sir. Just to so, be, but imagine stressing that, over. Yeah, uh, yeah. But imagine if you did get a thousand dollars a month, uh, what, what would you guys do with it? Suck it on the side. Yeah. If they're not giving you free health care, you might as well just tuck it on the side for. Because yeah. something, the thing is, you pay for health care every month just for maybe some shit's gonna happen. You know what I yeah. mean? Not only that, but you sometimes you gotta pay a portion of that still. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, that's, that's, true. Pay, yeah. that's true. Yeah. A lot of people are gonna be working part time. Some might quit their job. Hey, uh, but yeah, I mean, out here in California, so many people have two jobs. Maybe, maybe this could help people not needing two jobs. Yeah, if you don't maybe. got a good paying job, you know. Go and maybe it could help, you know, those new uh, eighteen-year-old college students. They won't have to get a part-time job or a student loan. Maybe they could kind of lean on that for yeah. a bit, and you know what I mean. 
That's it, why everyone it, works for, uh, yeah. where everyone tries to find roommates because yeah. it's hella pricey. Exactly. So let's roll. It could, Super it, pricey. It, I think I think it could help. It, it could definitely help out. You know Any I mean? students listening, I will have a room up for rent. Uh, in a couple months or so. All right, perfect. I'll yeah, send yeah. that message out because I know I've been hearing. Anybody staying I like at CS, CSUMB area or NPC, you guys need a home. Like, I'm going to have a room open pretty soon. For sure, for sure. Shout out to all the students listening. Exactly. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, man. Uh, so moving on, we got the next promo. Wait for me patiently as I open this Promotion. up. Promotion. We need to have a little theme song. <laughs> Promotion. <laughs> <laughs> We are getting to <laughs> This nigga burns up his mic. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even his, fool. <laughs> this podcast is also supported by Monterey Bay Creations. Got a dope idea to put on a t-shirt or sweater? Yeah. Make sure you hit up Monterey Bay Creations, providing the best work and top quality to help bring your idea to life. They do vinyl, heat press, custom logos, <laughs> screen printing, <laughs> custom stickers, <laughs> Haters gonna hate. Creators gonna create. Follow them at Monterey Bay Creations on Instagram. Hit them up. Y'all already know. You dream it. We create it. Yup. Bang bang. What you doing with your life? There you go. That's even right, if you right. don't, even if you don't want to do it, he'll do it. Good work, man. I, I seen, <laughs> I seen that stuff you guys did for the the soccer leagues, man. That's just mm. yeah. So for the they schools. reached out to us, Monterey and then North County. There you so go. I'm, I'm thankful that they reached out and they have a whole bunch of more ideas. And since we're local, they're local schools. We try to work with them, you know. There you yeah, go. Either give them a tax break or work some type of deal out because then again, that's for people within our community, you know. Not only that, but when people come to us for help, we don't just create your product and send you on your way. We try to give you advice or try to help work with you as far as what your next step will be. Just because we're here to help you guys out. We're not here to scam nobody. Yeah. You know, so we provide quality work and it's just kind of helping anybody in the area or even outside the area, you know, bloom. You know, most businesses take your money. Here's your product. But we try to work with you. We talk to you. What's your next step? And, you know, just try to guide people, you know. Yes, definitely, guys. Support all your locals, as you can Support see. Your local business. We got the clothing brand. We got the, you know, I mean, the company that helps out the clothing brands. You know what I mean? That's what right. else could you want, man? What else you guys want? You, also, you also could get something else too. Or chat that. Want some more yeah, chat that. And then if y'all need some positivity, be sure to follow oh, me yeah. on Instagram, Ricky underscore LLC. Usually do workouts too. And believe it or not, I've seen both sides. Some people, um, some followers from the uh, positivity side, the little talk show that I do at night, they give me feedback or that's what they see. Mm -hmm. And then not too long ago, I seen the people, the other side of my following, which is the people that see the Work gym out. workouts and stuff like that. So I try to do those things and I'm trying to integrate more like, you know, shouting out local brands and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. I always forget, but that's always support, you know? Yeah. So, I feel like positivity and workouts is just like kind of like, they're like meant to be together. <laughs> you know what I mean? Not only that, just because, um, first of all, and for a few working meet, out decreases your stress. Yeah. You mm -hmm. know, and it's just. If you meet somebody that's like a gym, like going to gym 24 7, you know, just gym, 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 they're positive as fuck. Fuck yeah, bro. Look at Ricky. <laughs> Hell yeah, man. They don't give a fuck. Look at Ricky. <laughs> that's one example, but it's just, it's, it comes both ways. You know, there's people that do it, but I think it just helps with personality making you feel good about yourself because, yeah. like I've said, you don't pay for your body. You got to actually earn that shit. Yeah, so dude. if you don't put in the work, it's not going to show. So, Ricky, yeah. comparing yourself from like back in the days to now, were you more angry back in the day? I wasn't angry. I just wasn't probably thinking things through i was more i'm still free you were just more but like I was a, a little more, fuck it uh, yeah You're now more, it's a little it's still kind of fuck it but it's with more positive more it's a positive it's a positive fuck it it's a more of a um thought out through fuck it you so know just fuck yeah. it so just fuck it like that one song remember <laughs> which one time remember that one you recorded oh shit <laughs> He no. slaps of the week right there. <laughs> nah, nah, he sp he spoke to me on that one because he finished his verse and then it was like, so just fuck it. So I was like, oh shit, <laughs> <laughs> You're fucking right. Life <laughs> advice. <laughs> no, <laughs> but I mean, it, I've always oh, classic on, drop. My bad, my bad Ronnie. <laughs> oh. Oh, that wasn't you. Oh, oh shit! <laughs> Why you say my bad, bro? <laughs> I, I jumped, I kicked it, <laughs> and they got me, they got me in the camera jumping. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but yeah, for everybody <laughs> listening, it's all a mindset, man. I've had the mindset. I uh, just kind of had some shit bring me back to reality and just kind of refocus on it. Yeah, you know? brings you that sense of clarity now. 
clarity and kind of like, what the fuck are you doing? You know, yeah, right, shit. right. So your answer to me was a positive fuck it. Oh. A positive fuck, <laughs> a positive okay, cool. fuck okay. it. Positive fuck it. Okay. Fuck it, but positive. 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 Yeah. Positive. 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 <laughs> Nobody wants fuck a negative it. fuck it. Nobody wants a negative fuck it. <laughs> Nobody <laughs> wants that. Uh, uh, but yeah, man. If y'all help people, just from the bottom of your hearts, and that's yeah. something my mom taught mm -hmm. me since like a little kid, you know. You don't deny nobody food. You give everybody yeah. a hand without expecting nothing in return. Yes, yes. You live by those simple rules, man. This shit goes but forward from there. Yeah. Because yeah. mm -hmm. if you don't, then you, and if you expect something, and then you'll be disappointed when you don't exactly. get something, and then you're going to start being nice to people. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You start doing stuff, expect, you know, some type of pay or some shit. Yeah. Nah. You're never too big to not be nice to someone. So, exactly. out there, guys, you know. We heard this since kindergarten, but it's a really big lesson, man. It's Treat a, people how you deal. want to be treated, man. <laughs> you know yeah. it's, it's the golden rule. <laughs> it's the golden rule. Yeah. Right. yeah. You know what's funny? I've seen like, my younger cousins going through some shit that I was going through their age. And now I'm like, man, like you're dumb or you're going to get over it or stuff like that. And I remember someone older than me when I was that age telling me the same shit. And you're just like, fuck And you. I was like, fuck <laughs> you. <laughs> now it's like reverse, you know? Yeah. Which is, I just find it funny how everything people told us growing up kind of we're telling them growing up you know for it's a cycle man it it's a crazy cycle yeah. like relax kids like you don't have to lose your virginity at 14 or 13 oh hold on young bucks <laughs> hold your horses all right unless you, well, unless you got the opportunity the unless, the wave, <laughs> unless you have the opportunity and, here comes there. <laughs> and it's there <laughs> let me guess. take it let me guess. unless she looks like jordan <laughs> And if you are gonna do it, nah, she doesn't like. Yeah, she looks yeah, like Jordan Woods, so. bro. Mandatory. Definitely eating condoms coming soon. Oh. <laughs> hey, for real though. Definitely eating birth control. <laughs> what the fuck? That shit gonna fail like a plan B. You better be ready for I'm, child I'm support. Shit. Oh, oh shit! I, I ain't signing no agreement with that. <laughs> Before I give you this, you gotta sign this disclosure. Hey, bro. Hey, 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 fuck, around, fuck around, they're just mints. <laughs> <laughs> but you still pregnant. Wow. I remember when they used control. to sell thizzles, but they would just carve the thing like into yeah. the mints. Yeah. Mm. There you go. Oh, terrible, God, dude. Yeah. I'm terrible, dude. I sold I sold middle school some chicks some Tylenol pills. <laughs> 12 middle <laughs> thizzles. <laughs> That's why the T is on there. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, like, oh, oh, shit. oh my god! Oh. This bitch is like, you sure? <laughs> I didn't yeah. feel nothing. She, she goes the next day. I just fell asleep. I didn't really feel nothing. Uh, like um, my congestion cleared up, but you know, like, that's what it does. <laughs> <laughs> that's just crazy. Bro. Oh shit! My yeah. headache went away. I saw oh. nigga oregano. <laughs> nigga came back saying he was high as shit. <laughs> Hey, uh, you might have just figured out something, man. I know. <laughs> I was like, like, okay. Like, really? All right, I got to try myself now. <laughs> nah, it was good. <laughs> That's just crazy. Oh, shit, guys. Well, we, uh, man. We, what was we another through? good one? I think I rolled, a, a, I rolled a grass joint. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a little nah, dumb. Tell me what, this seems kind of dumb, but in a way it's kind of smart. In high school, um, there was a group of kids that they would try to smoke any plant just to see if it would get them lit. And the reason it's dumb because why? But it's, it's smart because someone had to smoke weed in order for them to find out that it gets you high. Yeah, but it's dumb because some things could be either poisonous. yeah poisonous or nasty. That's what I'm saying. It's dumb. Could have chemicals. Dirty. Yeah. Yeah. What Without if you knowing. find the new marijuana though? What if they What if they picked out a plant that a uh, fucking gardener just put fucking uh, poisonous gas, poisonous poisonous shit or something, and you're legend. smoking it? Hey man, there's people dumb dumb yeah. enough that they'll, they'll see mushrooms on the ground and pick it up and eat it, not yeah. knowing that it's poisonous. Or you know, I don't <laughs> fuck with mushrooms. Like, I call there's them a lot of situations <laughs> of dogs eating like sh like gopher like um bait, trying to like mm. kill them and shit, and they ended up they, yeah. they end up seizing up and poison. dying. Yeah, it's yeah. crazy, man. Take care of your dogs. Make sure, make sure you look out for them. What man. about bath salts? <laughs> What? I know who, who was the first that one that to go ahead and like. It in the movie. I'm gonna do this. Like hey, people are supposed to turn think, people into zombies. Uh, I think it's. I think oh, that. Right. Do you think that started with like that? You know what was that show? Uh, Strange Addictions. 
I have no idea where it's talking. Or they were like people are like addicted to eating toilet paper or shit like that. glass. Yeah. Or there's a nigga in love with like legit in love with his car. Yeah, like, like legit, like yeah, legit, yeah, yeah. Know, like yeah, yeah. fucking and he, shit, right? Yeah, like I know what you're like, talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's just crazy. So, do you think it was just one of those? Like, this bitch was like, "Oh, I just like," and then she just happened to, or whoever it was, happened to just was take a, a big ass amount. And there was a bitch that was an addict that had an addiction to uh, opening Coca Cola cans, so she would buy the Costco pack, like, you know, fill up the whole car. And then each each day she had to open at least like two hundred cans just because she was addicted to the the sound that it made. Like, and she wouldn't drink it. No, she wouldn't drink it. Oh, every fuck, I know. yeah, every Thank twenty you. twenty-five minutes, another <laughs> just because that sound just made her like maybe it got her wet. I don't know, but every time she opened it. Yeah, and I think uh, I yeah. think there's this other bitch that uh, was addicted to sniffing baby powder. Oh, like she will legit go scar it's face crazy, in the baby powder. But how do you guys think you get to addictions like that? It's just it's weird just like thing, it's like bro. having a fetish, but a fetish. I know. But how, how do you how do you build a fetish to like like the, like there's a dude that eats glass like legit, bites into a glass fucking cup and, and he's chewing. It, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, maybe he starts off with chewing nice, like all right. Well, this isn't giving me the satisfaction I need. Maybe let's move on to some glass, like. But what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's the explanation. Yeah, let me just go to the glass. 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 Just go to but how do you not start off with weed and you end it off with all these other drugs? Yeah. You know what I mean, so it kind of starts off. I guess whatever your first choice of drug is, it's gonna lead you down some fucking shit. They say that marijuana is a fucking gateway drug to this other shit. Yeah, but yeah. I mean, yeah. I've done other drugs, but I've never gone fucking absolutely I mean, yeah addicted to and it. And I've never gone high to the point where like. Let me go try meth. <laughs> yeah. You know? I've seen niggas do crystal meth in front of my face. I know face. someone yeah. I'm just like, yo, just like, like, get, it's like, you want to hit it? I was like, nah, man. Like, get the fuck out of here. Like, yo, you just, you, like, you realize, damn, like, you look like a tweaker. And I realize that people that don't do drugs at all, they see me smoking weed, they probably look at me like some type of tweaker as well. You know what I mean? It's just, it's just different levels to the shit, I guess. But, fuck, yeah. I don't know. It's just it might same just with, be uh, peer pressure, too, you know? Like, some people can't take that. Yeah, true. True. yeah, true. So some guy talked I've never to me. Peer pressure people though. <laughs> yeah. um, oh. Were you guys ever peer pressured to do anything? What did he Being say? Like, I kind of, I kind of did everything. I did was like, I, I gotta try it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, Same here. It's like fuck it. I got on probation. I was like, I gotta smoke weed. Yeah, <laughs> I never smoke weed. I, I just gotta smoke weed. weed. Yeah, let me go. And then I fucking. One drug I'm scared stupid. of was cocaine, because people would always say you get addicted to it after you try it. So mm -hmm. I've always been scared of coke. Did you ever do it? Mm. Did you ever do it? <laughs> I mean, I've done it. <laughs> yeah. Holy and shit. I, I, I reached a little point, like maybe like it was a probably four or five month stretch where, yeah, bro, I was buying like Coke yeah. every week and I, I was know. doing it. But uh, it gets to a point where your body just gets sick and tired of it, bro. Mm -hmm. Or at least I got to that point where my body got sick and tired of and it. I got, I, got, I got tired of waking up in the morning, blowing my nose and seeing blood on my shit. Oh, like, I just shit, got man. tired of all Fuck that shit. That. You know? But I don't know. People do coke. I, I mean, I still know a lot of people that do coke and I've they, heard. they do it sober. I could never do it without drinking. I would always I would always do it because I was drinking hella beer, but I cannot just do it. Like, oh, I just want to lie. Like, not. Nah. Yeah, because when you if you just do it sober, you feel like you're you're at edge. So that beer just you know takes you off that. Yeah, that, yeah. So I don't know. There's some people that just like feeling that on the edge feeling, you know, just type of shit. But no, I, 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 don't I, don't know, I can't say this, I don't though. because I I would do I'll, I'll do no I'll do coke fucking sober, but just smoke weed too. Well, there's something else to balance it out, right? Yeah. Just but straight, straight coke. Like I've seen motherfuckers wake up early in the morning, and just yeah. Like, oh man, what? That was me, nigga. What? Like, <laughs> that was me, nigga. I'll, I'll go early morning to school, meet up with my nigga, and we'll <laughs> bust out fucking like two each. Oh, that's, that's crazy. crazy. Nah, that's crazy. And then gonna <laughs> smoke, smoke a joint, and go to class. <laughs> yeah, man, right on top of the math book. <laughs> right yeah. on top of that math book. <laughs> Bro, <Bruh, laughs> it got to a point where we had our own class to do it, and the teacher would tell us, go to your Coke table if you're not gonna do no work. Oh, 
Shit. Well, so you shit. see, I, you see five niggas standing up, go to back to the table, and it's like a back table where it's kind of like covered up with a wall. Damn. So all you hear is chop, 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 and snort. Yeah, I can't doubt anybody though, because I didn't definitely chopped up from one o'clock in the morning till the sun came up, bro, and just mm-hmm. literally just. To the point where it's just like, fuck, like, I can't feel my face. Like, I don't, this doesn't even feel good, mm. but it's just, I don't know. But it's just, it's, it's just, just some habit. Fucking, it's kind of people yeah, that smoke yeah, cigarettes, they just got addiction. Yeah. Same yeah. Thing. But one thing I will try is acid. Mm. People, or, some guy talked to me, the way he explained it, it seems pretty legit. Hey. <laughs> would you do an acid like, like in I the think little tab? Ricky, I think Ricky will have the best, like, um, not hallucination, but, you know. Like trip? Or, uh, yeah, trip off acid shrooms and shit just because he's so positive. No, but here's the thing. Because like, there's a lot of people that do all these drugs and they're negative and they have bad trips. Yeah, for a fact. So, yeah. I you know, know you, mean. Yeah, you, you I know about had a that. bad yeah. trip with acid. Uh, it's not like the hallucination of the trip. I kind of I took it on an empty stomach and I just feel sick. Yeah, no, no, uh, that's different. I've yeah. taken shroom on an empty stomach and I fucking passed out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you're he was there. scary. Yeah. Um, but, um, but yeah. I, want, I think I want to do acid with you. You, want to <laughs> do thing, you, you do I'm any down. type of We're like hallucin- <laughs> hallucinogen like that. That's you go in it with, a, with, a, with a good <laughs> mind, you're going to have a good trip. But it just all depends that like, I don't know what lies, what's in the back of your brain. Shit that you probably want to go ahead thing. and bury. And that type of shit, when you do that type of drug, it'll dig it up. True. So it might end up having... A really bad effect on you that's what i've heard either you have you completely switch up depending on who you are you just have a good trip or you just have a complete bad trip mm-hmm. but the way the guy that kind of talked to me into trying it out shout out to him um he said <laughs> if you're having a bad trip you just gotta have someone like move you like if you're focused on the wall and you're tripping out just move into something else that's yeah. why you gotta have someone yeah, that's so not so. tripping with yeah. you yeah he said, do it with someone that's done it before. Well, he I said, do it out it, in so. nature. He said, well, somewhere, have someone sober or somewhere too. where you feel peace. That's the way he explained. If you're gonna do it, do it somewhere where you find peace. Let's do shrooms. But that's why a lot of people go to Burning Man. <laughs> have you done shrooms? Shit. No. <laughs> no? no? Don't do I've, heard, I've heard they leave a hole in your head or some shit. Or if you do it once, you consider like crazy. Really? Yeah. I did try pills, but the reason I didn't like pills was yeah, they do. And was because um one time coming down, I was walking home. And on my downers, I just started feeling like hella depressed. Off what? Like, uh, once you come down, Nike, it was like whatever. Um, yeah, like I was coming down, I was walking home, and I just started like feeling hella depressed, yeah. hella sad, and shit like that. That's the come down. And then, yeah, my head was like, okay, now I see why people get addicted to these. Yeah, because they want that. Gonna, yeah, yeah, being 15 years old, I'm walking home. On my downers, like, okay, now I see why people. Get addicted they because they get sad off the shit. You so they feeling wanna... a, you feeling that little addiction getting to you like fuck? I don't want to feel this, but the only way I can't feel this is if I get get high again. Yeah. Yeah. But you don't want to get high again because you don't want to get addicted. Yeah, that's how uh, ecstasy was for me too. It was like a yee, and then it was like, oh, uh. well, bro, I had a phase with that shit. Yeah. That was like best got to experience. the point where I was just chewing it without no drink. Ecstasy was like early 2000s, huh? Yeah. Like early 2000s up until like yeah. maybe 2015. Yeah. 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 It's still out there, though. It's still out there. It's, it's still out there. It, no, it, it turned into now, Molly. It turned into Molly. <laughs> yeah. 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 Now it's it called Molly. Molly. <laughs> Molly water. Put it in your Gatorade. MDMA. Yeah, yeah, it's MDMA. Like the pure form. That's yeah. what you got to watch out these. But now that's clubs, the, but nigga. Now that's motherfuckers be slipping shit. Well, I don't, I don't fuck with none of that shit, though. But the one thing I will try was acid. That's it. Yeah, yeah like man, we should all go Manson, to like a camp, huh? a campfire. Like Charles Manson. Nah, <laughs> man, you seen you seen the movies with like niggas go to camps and they do some hallucination <laughs> and saying. then niggas Charles start killing Manson somebody stuff. and some shit happens. Yeah. We're not nah. gonna kill each other. No, we're not. <laughs> nah, no we guns, won't kill no each knives. other, but somebody could. I mean, yeah. we really don't know what's really lying. Deep, deep beneath <laughs> everybody's fucking brains and thoughts, man. I'm like, Jerry's hey, gonna what? kill us. Hey, hey, what? I know. Hey, man. Hey, man. He's hey, gonna do that sleep choke. Go night, night. You said you wanted to learn, right? He's like, learn. Go to sleep. So you're tapping out. like, hold on, watch. Okay. So if we all do this, watch the Gemini's just freak out with their other fucking personalities. They see each other right there. Put all the Gemini's in one room. Fuck. These niggas just come out as just. They're just some, yeah, someone different. I'm not Ronnie. I'm, <laughs> I'm Ronsta. Nah, some other I'm shit. Ronsta. I'm not Ronnie. I'm Ronsta. <laughs> so my name is Jack now. Thing, well, my name is Jack. I'm Ronsta. 
steroids, like when you take steroids. <laughs> oh, and you have that, that uh, like, road, that road rage. Yeah. Road rage. Oh, yeah. Road, no, Roy rage. Roy rage. Road Roy, rage. Like Roy. a thick steroid. <laughs> no, no, what about rage. that? Have you guys heard of that? Like, I yeah. heard people get mad yeah, because there's... it's supposed to be because you're, what's that male hormone? Your testosterone is super high. That's why. Yeah, so you they get in their feelings more. No, steroids high high in it. But do you consider it a drug or not? But it is all your testosterone in your nuts, drug, though. Huh? It's not. I consider a drug anything that's not natural. Mm -hmm. That's to uh, me. Like I'm telling you, I don't fuck with pills. I barely, maybe last year started fucking with like vitamins and stuff like that. But before that, like, no. Nah. Like even medicine, I don't believe in medicine. I think the human body is filled with drugs, though. You know that chemical that releases in your brain. When you that's uh, what the, uh, well, when DMT. you're born. When you're born, you already get yeah, a the, shot. The shot, shot, whatever the fuck, and then the what's it called? The uh, adrenaline. It's kind of like a drug in your that's already in your body. Dopamine. You, you get it? Yeah, dopamine. Yeah, all that. But stuff. that's all natural though. It's naturally yeah, it's natural. created, it's and natural. you think drugs enhance it. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Shit. But at the end of the day, we're all just drugs. We all drug babies. Man. Oh, we uh, we passed a little bit we over one thirty. How you guys feeling, man? You guys want to keep going, man? I love having this conversation with you guys. Yeah, man. Let's, yeah. Yeah. let's see. Hold on. Hold on. Let's do drugs. Don't do drugs, kid. <laughs> yeah, kids Anybody don't do listening? drugs. It's don't do low. drugs. It's already eight. I don't yeah. know. It. I don't know it. All right, guys. Make sure you guys follow us on Instagram at Slide Through Podcast. You know what I mean? Comment, like, all that good stuff. Follow us as well. Uh, you can follow me at the Real Miggy on Instagram and on Twitter. I'll be on there sometimes. Uh, you want to give out your at name? Anybody else want to give me I'm pretty plugins? sure they know Eric. MP6, <laughs> oh, man. I've been seeing all the fucking time. They see me post all this shit. They see us post everything. You man. go on a slide through podcast. You see who's tagged. Yeah. 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 Sure. We're always tagged on it. So. We're all but here. June being out the Instagram nah, world. Good, He's done. Good for now. He He's got good. scared. <laughs> nah. <laughs> they scared him away. Nah. I'm just good. You're getting too much I like to be very huh? private. Yeah. Um, yeah. Private nice. figure. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Private right, public show. figure. Good show for show. All right, guys, man. Thank you for guys listening, man. Thank, thank you. For you. Tuning in. Thank, thank you for sliding through. Slide through. Yeah. Uh, should we get to uh, slap of the week? So are you guys good? Can we slap one now? Oh, you know what? Huh? Wait, what? What? Uh, I kind of want to end it with the with the song that just came out recently. Exactly. Uh, end it with one. Yep. Yep. Uh, end it with that. Yeah. The song came out is by SB Hemingway, local artist. Okay. The song is called Payroll, featuring uh. featuring your truly magnificent <laughs> featuring me. <laughs> oh shit! Good. Oh, oh what? Shit. Who? I never heard of me. <laughs> Yeah, it was, who's uh, me? A new Asian ever? <laughs> me, some Asian, some Asian no, for you. Her. <laughs> <laughs> no, you, me, no, you, me, you. <laughs> what is that, Rush Hour? <laughs> who is he? Love that movie. <laughs> I am him. <laughs> you are me. <laughs> Shit, I am here with you. Mean. Thanks, Eric. thank you guys for sliding through. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thank you for Sign listening. Out, making sense. Sign us out. Payroll by uh, SB Hensippa featuring me, <laughs> Mickey. <laughs> <laughs> Available on SoundCloud. Go check that out. Yes, sir. Where? Why is it not playing? Oh, it's not playing. He's like, yeah, it's not out yet. Hold on. Has to load. Fam, shit. Stack like Legos. Pass me by, Word. about to take it back like the Fabulous Five. Cheer. Uh. These bitches drop a dime on you. Mona Lisa, bitch, I got my eyes on you. Yeah, bitch. Don't, don't make, make me put a time on you. Don't Cause you don't make it in time, I cut the line on you. Respect for respect, so I greet my brothers. Word. But the snakes blend in, so I need my weapon. Uh. So magnificent with some seaside legends. Being different, beat the odds like 357. Cheer. Uh. 
What good does the hating do? You realize if I make it, he gon' make it too. All these guys wanna be the man now. Never got the hand in, always got the hand out. Me on the rise, what you tryna hate for? Fab shit, side by side, stack like Legos. Faithful, gotta keep running like we on payroll. Team on the rise, why you tryna hate for? Why you tryna hate for? Team on the rise, why you tryna hate for? Why you tryna hate for a team on the rise, like we on payroll? I'm a ball A day, like EA. We in the game, yeah, rep the A, like Kobe was my name. But I ain't from LA, I'm from Cincy, California, A. Really from the bottoms, I was racing the section A. Not like Lonzo, I'm chasing the check. I gotta go hard in the paint, team on the rise. And go ahead and hate, I'ma pray for them better days. And I'ma grind like I was in last place. Baby, I'ma kill it. Rose petals on the ground. Champagne on the ceiling. No hard feelings. But fuck, how you feeling? I got the handy and you know that it's chilling. Baby, I'ma kill it. Rose petals on the ground. Champagne on the ceiling. Team on the rise. What you trying to hate for? Fab shit, side by side, stack like Legos. Faithful. Gotta keep running like we on payroll. Team on the rise. Cheer. Slide through. Thank you guys. What you trying to hate, folk? Yeah. Don't hate, innovate. Yes. Team on a rise, bitch. Right. Penetrate. Penetrate. Bang.